The story begins on a high mountain, rumor has it that there has never been a source of divine energy at the top of Fong Volcano. The magical source was left here by the founder of alchemy, Zhi Yang, who created it here after his death. This source looked like a large bowl with two dragons on the sides, and it was called the Great Huan Dan. Many cultivators tried to get to the top of this volcano, they believed that one day a great pill would be born. Unfortunately, not all people were able to see this with their own eyes, many of them fell dead from exhaustion. The rest did not forget to grieve for their fallen comrades, and at the same time no one was going to give up this venture. As it turned out, we had to wait a very long time, almost all the followers of this cult waited for more than 2000 years, but they never received anything. Only after 100,000 years a miracle happened, the peak began to shine, which meant that the energy of Huan Dan was freed. Immediately after this, bloody battles began between everyone for all his source of power. There were a lot of people willing, soon hundreds of corpses of fallen soldiers lay at the foot of the mountain, they all wanted to take possession of this power. A conversation was heard a little higher, someone asked a girl named Ki Jean if she remembered that she promised to become the ruler of the world. As it turned out, it was a young warrior, she was seriously injured, her brother held her in his arms and tried to help. She believed that her time had already come, the girl asked her relative to obtain the power of the great cup at any cost. After that, her eyes closed, the warrior said that she really wanted to rest, and her brother asked Ki Jean to wake up, but it was all in vain. After some time, a couple more fighters arrived at the battle site, those who remained were the strongest of all. Very soon the man was defeated, he was on his knees, and an enemy sword was sticking out of his shoulder, it seemed that he was not destined to win this fight. He fell to the ground, and blood began to flow from his mouth, it seemed his earthly journey was over, the newly arrived fighters said that the fight was good and they would remember it for the rest of their lives. After this, two pairs of fighters remained, these turned out to be the most skilled warriors of all, they soon had to find out who was worthy of receiving power. The girl who had just arrived was the leader of the mage clan, her name was Hu Wu Yun, and with her was her assistant Jiang Wu, they immediately rushed into a fight. Their opponents were the leader of the Union Yun Ting and one of the fighters named Baia Hu Ryu, they believed that such freaks would not be able to even lay a finger on them. A few seconds later, their hands collided in a duel, the power of the blows was so strong that one could see the energy in the air. This battle lasted for quite a long time, its sounds could be heard many kilometers away. At some point, a strong explosion occurred, it was so strong that Baia Hu Ryu flew to the side. The girl could not even stand on her feet and fell to the ground, all her clothes were torn to shreds. Having come to her senses a little, she tried to understand what it was, she had never experienced such a powerful technique before. 100,000 years passed, many good fighters died in this place, the appearance of the great pill led them to a bloody battle. This legend has been around for many years, but it doesn't matter, today Yun Ting promises to kill everyone who tries to stop him, he asks to open his eyes wider so that his enemies remember this moment. But Hu Wu Yun still continued to stand on her feet, she told the man not to be so confident, because he had not won yet. She knew that the leader of the union could no longer fight, this was his limit, the man had suffered too many injuries. This was indeed the case, soon Yun Ting started bleeding from her mouth, and it was clear from his face that he was in great pain. However, the man was not at a loss, the life of the righteous was short, but the hero never dies without a battle. With a face full of confidence, he said that he was ready to continue the fight and ordered the woman to show all her strength. In response to this, Hu Wu Yun calmly looked at her opponent, it was clear from her gaze that she did not take his word seriously. At one point she can't stand it and starts laughing loudly. The leader of the magicians points his finger at the mountains of corpses and tells the man that he should stop pretending, because he understands how many people died and none of them suspected that they were being used. After that, the woman pointed her finger at Yun Ting and said that they both should admit what they are. Now that only the four of them are alive and all the others are dead, there is no need to pretend anymore. Hu Wu Yun reminds the leader of the alliance about the times when they were partners and how good they were together then. The man looked around incredulously, he wanted to make sure that there was really no one left around who could hear this conversation. After this, Yun Ting angrily told the woman that she was only alive because they were once friends. They don't need to rush things, they can still be together after all these events. Pointing his finger at his former partner, 
the man says that Hu Wu Yun was even more dear to him than Baya Hu Ryu. The woman replies that he is very limited and did not even understand what she meant, what a freak he was if he thought that only thanks to him Hu Wu Yun is now alive. A man should stop being a dumbass, as soon as the woman has the power of Huan Dan, she promises to become the ruler of all three worlds, and he will receive the right to rule her people. Her assistant Jiang Wu was a little upset by what he heard, he was offended that the place he had received through such efforts could so easily be lost. The former friends looked at each other, each of them expected that someone else would give in first and accept his terms. At one point they can't stand it and start screaming at each other, the opponents could no longer wait for someone to give up first. Both the woman and the man believed that the person opposite them was alive only because of the kindness of one of them. Finally, they got tired of arguing and the man remembers his plan, his former partner didn't even know about it. As it turned out, her assistant was a spy whom Yun Ting sent several years ago. At the same time, Hu Wu Yun thought exactly the same thing, apparently she also had some kind of secret plan. It turned out that the partner of her former comrade was also a spy, she also started working several years ago. They both believed that they had a hidden advantage, so both the man and the woman simultaneously shouted an action order to their assistants. Immediately after this, a sharp sword was stuck into the back of the leader of the magicians, he pierced her right through, the woman did not expect this at all. The same thing happened to the man, he was also pierced through by the one he considered his partner. A second later, the two spies pulled out their blades, and their victims simultaneously fell to the floor, seemingly dead. After that, Jiang Wu and Baya Hu Ryu rushed to hug each other, it was clear that they were happy about what had just happened here. They will finally be able to be together, after so many years, the whole world will belong to them, now nothing will stop this couple from seizing power. But suddenly they both realize that they are wounded, apparently the plan did not end with killing only their mentors. The guy and the girl also fall to the ground, is there really not a single survivor left now and the force will remain without its owner? Suddenly, Yun Ting opened one eye and looked at what was happening, he somehow managed to avoid death. He and his old girlfriend rose from the ground, both of them, for some reason, were able to survive after being wounded. When they saw each other, they were very surprised, the couple did not know that the same plan had matured in their heads at the same time. In fact, both were pretending to be dead, each of them counting on the fact that his enemies would kill each other, after which they could freely take the source of power. They even hired spies at the same time, apparently the time spent together yielded results. Yun Ting knew very well that his assistant was a spy, he only needed her to kill his former partner's student. Hu Wu Yun realized that their plans were absolutely identical, apparently they would have to continue the fight. The woman always knew that her former friend was very cunning, but she was still more cunning, she had one more trump card with her. The man always behaved too correctly to come up with something else for such a scenario in which his student would die. But it was not for her to judge, she took this guy as her student only because of his appearance, it was obvious. There was no time to chatter, now the leader of the magicians was going to show her true strength. Well, she shouldn't think that only she has hidden skills, now they are going to find out who will be stronger in the end. The next moment, the two rushed towards each other with their strongest techniques, this fight was going to end quickly. But it didn't even have time to begin, as soon as they moved, they felt a strong sharp pain inside their body. Immediately after this, the couple fell to their knees, they were both bleeding from their mouths, apparently someone had poisoned them. Suddenly Jiang Wu and Baya Hu Ryu rose from the ground, the students turned out to be alive, they turned to the old people and said that it was too early for them to rejoice. Hu Wu Yun and Yun Ting immediately realized that these two were the ones who were involved in their poisoning. How easy it was to carry them out, the mentors were so old that they forgot about the poison with which the swords were smeared. The woman promises that they will definitely pay for daring to poison their masters. But they were answered only in gratitude for the free education, and now, without further ado, the mentors must accept their death. After all, in this world there is no truth, no goodness, no word and the one who is able to take what is his by force wins. But it seemed that the old partners were not going to die here, a strange grin appeared on their faces. The next moment, the two traitors were alarmed, their mouths also began to bleed, somehow they were also poisoned. Baya Hu Ryu and Jiang Wu could not understand how this happened, the couple demanded an explanation from their former masters. 
the leader of the magicians and the leader of the union could still teach the young to respect age, what kind of fool would trust someone when going to the most dangerous place on earth? Damn, these old guys turned out to be much more agile than anyone could have imagined. In the end, all four of them lay on the ground, each of them wanting to gain power through the work of the others. Suddenly, a loud explosion was heard from the very top of the mountain, it could be heard at a very far distance from here. Everyone immediately realized that a source had opened, and it was for this reason that they had all gathered here now. And yet none of these four could now stand on their feet due to the effects of the poison. Yun Ting lowered his head, apparently none of them will be able to gain power, they can only die a painful death here. Hu Wu Yun is not going to stay here forever, she says that there is always some chance to get out. And he really was, the leader of the union had an antidote with him, it could help against any poison, but there was also a risk of dying. The man offers everyone to accept it together, and then share the power from the top of the volcano, he wanted to take 40% for himself. He offered his partner to get 30%, and he was ready to give the remaining 30% in half to two young students, that is, they could both get 15% of the strength. The leader of the magicians was indignant as to why he was going to take the most from the source. Yun Ting insists that this is absolutely fair, because it is his idea and his antidote, so he will get as much as he wants. But as it turned out, the woman also had an antidote with her, she could drink it, and then she wouldn't have to share it with anyone at all. The man understands that he needs to bargain, he offers his ex-girlfriend 32%, but Hu Wu Yun refuses, because this is too little. Their students also disagreed as to why they should have received so little, although no one wanted to hear them. Yuan Tian suddenly woke up, he laughed, because he realized that his enemies were lying on the ground and were in a very difficult situation. The heroes heard this and turned towards the noise, they could not understand where it was coming from, because everyone except them should now be dead. The man continued to laugh and said that unfortunately these losers would not get anything from the source at the top of the volcano. He was very pleased to listen to how these four idiots were trying to divide his power, he would have to stop this circus. It was simply amazing, another smart guy thought of pretending to be dead. His sister was also alive, she regretted that so few people saw her death, but in principle it didn't matter. All that mattered was that now they could easily take all the power from the great bowl for themselves. The leader of the magicians and the leader of the union could not believe their eyes, was someone as cunning as they were? But this was not surprising, because not only these two thought of the fact that you can get the power of the bowl without problems. Now all the little things of the past life, such as friendship, girls, artifacts no longer mattered in the slightest. Did Hu Wu Yun really think that this guy was so obsessed with her that he was ready to just give everything away? He had to be her little dog so that she could believe in his charms, how low that was. But it's okay, soon they will all become his servants, because Yuan Tian will receive all the power of the divine pill. A few seconds later, another explosion thundered, this time it was even stronger, which meant that the path to the bowl had finally become accessible. Everyone who was at the foot at that time raised their heads up, they should hasten to the top as quickly as possible. This explosion was more like an earthquake, the heroes were very excited, they had been waiting for this all their lives. Ki Jin seemed to be more excited than the others, she still did not fully believe that this was actually the great Huan Dan. Suddenly the girl got scared because of the scream, it was one of the warriors who were even lower, this person was also ready to run to the top. As it turned out, not only he was waiting below, it turned out that everyone who at first glance was dead was actually pretending, just like the heroes. It was literally everyone who was lying at the very foot of the mountain, as soon as they realized that the path was open, they ran up together shouting hooray. There were simply an incredible number of them, Yuan Tian was shocked, were all these warriors really alive and had come up with the same idea? He urgently needed to escape, after all, he had at least a small, but still advantage over the others. The four who were still under the influence of the poison could only watch as everyone ran past them. There were so many of them and they ran so fast that there was an impenetrable wall of dust and dirt around. Soon all those eager to receive power from the cup ran past them, but they still remained paralyzed. Yun Ting was not going to just give up, despite his position, he ordered everyone to stand up and run after the others as quickly as possible. After everything they'd done, they couldn't just stay here, they'd look like complete idiots. Their students also agreed, they were struggling to get back on their feet, now was not the time to give up. 
All four of them spent all their determination and perseverance to take a few steps. But they were only able to walk a couple of meters, the poison that was still inside them prevented them from moving further. Because of this, everyone from the company simply fell to the ground, it looks like they will still have to take a risk and drink the antidote. The younger ones tried to force the teacher to get the antidote as quickly as possible, but he wanted to first decide who would be able to drink how much of it. Jiang Wu insisted that the most important thing now was to use at least a little, because they were far behind the others, but the elder did not trust him. The situation turned out to be incredibly stupid, and in the end all four found themselves in the most losing situation. The magic Chan stood on the top of the mountain, it was located in the very center of the volcano, in order to get to it you had to walk along one of the huge chains. Ki Jin and her brother were the first to reach the top, they had to decide who would get all the power, otherwise the path to the source was closed. The girl decided not to waste time and immediately applied her technique, which is what she advised her relative to do. But the guy was in no hurry to do this, he asked her to cool down a little, apparently Yuan Tian wanted to gain power in some other way. Ki Jin understood that her brother was up to something, this man was very cunning, you could expect anything from him. He noticed that he and she share the same elements, that is, if they fight, one of them will die in any case. But the status of the strongest man in the world is at stake, does the sister really want to take such risks and possibly lose her loved one? The girl decided not to listen to him, because he could never be trusted, to hell with his chatter, it was easier to solve everything in battle. The guy understands that there is no other way out, he agrees to the fight and asks not to ask him for mercy. A few moments later, their strongest techniques clashed in a duel, each of them trying to decide the outcome of the fight with one blow. As it turned out, their strengths were approximately equal, so as a result of the collision, their blades rested against each other and sparkled. None of them could win a quick victory, the brother and sister were very courageous at this moment. Neither of them was going to give up, they continued to fight in an attempt to quickly get the long-awaited source of power. While these two were busy fighting, the rest of the people who wanted to touch Huang Dan had already arrived at the top of the volcano. The guy and girl were surprised, they didn't expect that these non-entities would catch up with them so quickly. But as it turned out, there were a lot of people at the top, they climbed over each other right to the very top. Soon the crowd climbed the mountain and ran in a huge heap straight to the vat, the brother and sister did not know what to do, all these people could trample them right now. But none of them still wanted to give up, because it meant losing the opportunity to become the strongest person in the world. As a result, the guy offers to lower the swords, he even offers to do it first, because there was no longer any point in their fight. Unfortunately, they are a little late, a voice from the side recommends that they quickly get out of the way, because people were already close. Ki Jin and her relative realized that they thought too long, but now it was too late. As a result, a huge crowd throws them both straight into the mouth of the volcano, below it was full of hot lava. Only at the very last moment does the guy manage to grab the huge chain with his hand. His sister also clings to life and grabs her brother's leg, now they both had to try very hard to escape. Yuan Tian shouts at her to quickly let go of his leg, otherwise he won't last long, Meanwhile the people upstairs are also not quite successfully making their way to the bowl. While the guy and girl continued to argue, another person fell down. And then a few more, as it turned out the path along the chain was not as simple as it might seem at first glance. As a result, my brother felt that it was becoming harder and harder for him, he was holding on with all his strength. As it turned out, about a dozen people had already gathered below, all of them were hanging on his leg, and no one wanted to die. But the worst thing was that people continued to walk along the chain, they constantly stepped on Yuan Tian's fingers. The guy could fall down at any moment, he ordered everyone who was hanging below to quickly crawl up one by one, this is the only way they can be saved. His sister told him to hold on with all the strength he has, because if it falls, she will come to him after death and kill him again. After that, people began to climb up one by one, everyone was happy that they managed to escape. Yuan Tian held on to the chain with his last strength, he told everyone who stood up that the saved person would owe him for the rest of his life. But no one really listened to him, instead, everyone who climbed up stepped on his head with their foot. It was really everyone, it was as if they were doing it on purpose, but it was not at all necessary. Even some pterodactyl did this, but he had wings, why did he even need to climb up? 
In the end, this angered the guy so much that he promised to kill everyone who hung on him. He swore to himself that the entire world would plunge into a sea of blood as soon as he received the power of the Great Cup. But his sister noticed that, unfortunately, he wouldn't have a chance, she had just climbed up. The girl cannot allow her relative to do evil, so she decides to deal with him at the right moment. Already at the top, she kicked him in the face, because of this, Yuan Tian could not resist and flew down, straight into the hot lava. In the end, everything didn't turn out the way everyone had imagined, a huge crowd stood near Chan and waited impatiently for what would happen next. Suddenly a large cyclops appeared among the people, he ordered the little people to get out quickly, because he wanted to take all the power for himself. It was a strong beast of the tenth level, the creature was going to use its strength to break the bowl. The blow was really very strong, the heat from this energy was so strong that everyone had to move away from it. A moment later, the blow reached its target, it was called the Slash of the Destroyer of Worlds. But it became clear from the Cyclops's face that everything went a little differently than he had imagined in his head. Not even a crack appeared on the cup, instead, he simply burned his hand badly, as it turned out he was not the first such smart guy. He was offended, after all, these guys could have warned him, instead they just stood on the side and laughed. Suddenly, a crash was heard, this was what everyone had been waiting for for so long, the last stage of transforming the source of power had finally begun. The huge bowl split with a very loud sound, and bright sunlight was visible from the cracks that appeared on it. Everyone present waited with anticipation for the end of the transformation, some present lived only for this moment. The smartest ones activated their techniques that allow them to see better, they wanted to quickly find the pill and grab it. But the glow was so bright that no one was able to see anything, someone even thought that this whole story was a fiction. A minute later, the light finally disappeared, and a strange man appeared in the place where he had stood before. It really was some guy, he had long white hair, but how did he end up there and where was the power pill itself? The hero stood up and approached the crowd, instead of clothes he was wearing only a large jug, similar to the bowl from which he appeared. Ki Jin asked him where he came from here and where he found the source of power that everyone had been looking for for so long. In response to this, the guy with his head raised answered that he was that very powerful pill of strength. But no one believed such nonsense, how could this young man be a source of power, everything looked very strange and absurd. He invited anyone from the crowd to come up and try to do him some harm, they would never succeed. The first to volunteer was a big bull with an axe, he was sure that the guy was just a liar who ate the pill but couldn't immediately get all its power, so he was pretending to be a fool. The guy was clearly stalling for time, and the beast was ready to chop him into small pieces right here and now. The rest of the warriors agreed with him, and in the end they all rushed at the half-naked guy with their strongest blows. At this moment, the hero did not even change his facial expression, he still confidently stood in place. The crowd continued to attack him for several minutes, everyone around them was already exhausted, but it did not look like they had achieved anything. The hero was absolutely unharmed, he was protected by a golden aura of immunity, apparently he really didn't lie. It was simply an amazing technique, none of the warriors managed to break through it. But the bull who started this whole performance did not want to give up, he urged people not to stop, they still have a chance to get the power of the pill. The beast gathered all his remaining strength to deliver his final blow, causing the earth to even collapse under his feet. He charged his axe with energy and rushed at the guy with all his strength, it was a phantom beast lunge. No one would be able to escape this blow without receiving a scratch, the bull was confident that now he could take the power of the source. An expression of anxiety appeared on his face, he was very worried, because he no longer had any strength left, this was his last chance to achieve his goal. But the hero was able to completely block this blow with just two fingers, there was still not a single wound on his body. After this, he placed his hand on the forehead of the beast, who, in turn, could not believe his eyes. The bull had not yet come to his senses when he was already up to his neck in the ground, for this the guy needed only one hand and less than a second of time. After this, Huan Dan asked the beast if he really wanted to get a piece of his power so much, in which case the young man was ready to share it in order to prove to everyone around him that his words were true. The bull was speechless at this time, he didn't even really hear what the guy was saying to him, the beast was so scared that he changed his words. It seemed to him that the hero was going to punish him for his rudeness in front of everyone, 
in vain he threw around such words. He could only beg for mercy, because his body was still up to his neck in the ground. The guy looked at him blankly for several seconds, at that moment it was not entirely clear what he was up to. But immediately after this, the young man, with one slight movement, detached one finger from the rest of his body. Everyone around him was very surprised at how easily he did it, and besides, there was not a drop of blood anywhere. After this, Huang Dan put part of his hand directly into the bull's mouth and ordered it to be eaten. The beast was a little shocked by what he saw, but it was still better than death, so he began to slowly chew the finger. As soon as he did this, everyone around him began to ask him how he felt now, whether he had managed to obtain a piece of divine power. As it turned out, the bull felt divine, it was the best feeling he had ever experienced in his life. But suddenly, after a few seconds, the expression on his face changed sharply, it seemed that he felt ill. He started foaming at the mouth, the crowd around him thought that this guy had poisoned him. From the expression on the beast's face it was clear that he was really not feeling well, and soon after that his head fell to the ground. Everyone else was sure that the bull was dead, but what does that mean, whether the hero is lying or not? However, immediately after the beast lowered its head to the ground, it began to glow with the same bright light as that vat during its final transformation. Suddenly the bull burst to the surface, he looked incredibly strong and his eyes glowed with a bright light. And he was completely covered in a golden aura, he felt like the most powerful being on this planet. The crowd wondered if this guy was really a divine pill. At this time, the beast continued to try to realize all the power that had just been given to him, he felt like the ruler of all bulls. The energy emanating from his body could be seen from a great distance, it rose up and in all directions for several kilometers. This is a miracle, not a force, there will be legends about it, he felt it seething in his body, like a volcano that was ready to explode at any second. Now no one living today can defeat him, the bull could only declare that from now on he is the ruler of the whole world. Now everyone who lives on this planet must listen to his orders, if someone refuses, they will immediately split down to the level of atoms. But suddenly the beast's speech was interrupted, something began to happen to his body, and he didn't seem to like it very much. For some reason, his stomach began to greatly increase in size, and something seemed to be bubbling very actively inside. Very soon his stomach swelled to an incredible size, it was larger than the rest of his body, it was about to explode. Everyone around them understood this, they should have quickly escaped from here and found some kind of shelter. Within a few seconds this really happened, the beast did not know what to do, would his reign really end so quickly? The explosion was huge, the flames rose tens of meters, and smoke scattered in all directions. The people standing around miraculously survived, they were all thrown back, they tried to come to their senses and understand what had just happened. Ki Jean stood in the front row, looking like she was very scared, but she managed to avoid serious injury. But one of the men was less fortunate, the bull's horn stuck right into his forehead, fortunately he managed to get off lightly and survived. As soon as the crowd came to its senses a little, the hero immediately invited the next daredevil to try his luck, and he immediately grew a new finger. The guy assured that his strength was enough for everyone, because he needed to fulfill his destiny. But none of the people were in a hurry to approach, Huan Dan asked them what they were waiting for, were all these warriors really afraid of the consequences? Suddenly, the voice of an old man was heard in the crowd, he said that there was no need to be afraid, because this bull with his worthless body did not have a chance. People like him are not worthy to accept such power that can change the whole world, because alchemy requires respect. The man took the initiative and said that if no one was against it, he would receive power as the first worthy one. Who else, if not him, understands the whole mystery of power, he was the great cultivator Tor Z, this man spent 100 years creating his path in alchemy. The old man saw nothing surprising, the pill looked like a person, with this power, the connection between light and fire magic will become refined and refined. In addition, he was not at all afraid of exploding, the master even wanted to eat two fingers at once, because one seemed to him not enough. The guy very quickly satisfied Tor Z's request, within a few seconds there were two glowing fingers in his hand. The master looked at this unusual thing for several seconds, it seems at that moment he realized that he was very excited when he said that he was ready to eat two fingers at once. The crowd behind him began to rush him, why did he stop, if he had already volunteered, then he needed to complete the job. 
The old man asked him not to rush, he would definitely eat them, but his stomach was giving him trouble today, so one would be enough for him for now. But Tor Z said that he would eat two at once, what kind of master is he, if he deceives everyone like this, people like him can only read morals to the young. This old man probably decided to deceive all the cultivators, he was definitely planning something, and most likely he was also deceiving the people in his academy. The master got tired of this chatter and shouted with all his might, the grandfather ordered everyone to shut their mouths, now he will do whatever is necessary. He was sick of all these losers, how dare they teach him morals, at such a young age they were not destined to understand the rules of business. Thorzi right now was going to eat that finger, with that power his life would change forever and would never be the same. The hero advised him to hurry up, because he no longer had a choice, and before death you couldn't breathe. Sweat appeared on the old man's face, it was clear that he was very scared, but he tried with all his might to deny it. It was necessary to act, because there would be no other chance, the master raised a luminous finger to his mouth. But as soon as this thing was right next to his lips, the old man began to shake very violently, after all, he was very afraid. The crowd still continued to press on him, he should have eaten this thing a long time ago, there was no way he could escape. Tor Z is still trying to get out of the situation, he comes up with a story about how he urgently needs to go home, because this power must first be properly studied. At that moment, the guy got tired of waiting, the hero grabbed the old man's hand and said that his time to think was up. Immediately after that, he put the master's hand in his mouth, now Tor Z will definitely swallow this finger. Finally it happened, the old man almost choked, but it seems that the power was still inside him. He immediately fell to his knees and prayed that his soul would not now leave this world and go to heaven. The master looked at Huan Dan and scolded him, you should at least ask people before doing this to them. Within a few seconds, his belly grew to a huge size, just like that of that bull. The people who were standing around at that moment began to place bets on whether this old man would explode or somehow be able to subjugate the force. And the master, in turn, used a special spell, it allowed him to gain greater flexibility and enormous spiritual fortitude. The crowd continued to scream, some believed that Tor Z was about to burst, while others continued to believe that the experience would allow him to stay alive. The old man tried his best to prevent his death, but the power was incredibly enormous, it literally seeped through his body. At one moment there was a huge explosion, its power was even greater than that with the bull. Apparently even the fortitude spell did not help the master, it seems that he also went to heaven despite his hundred years of experience. People became interested in what was left of him in the end, they wanted to use their magical gaze techniques. Suddenly, from the smoke that remained after the explosion, a powerful golden beam was shot at one of the men. This shot was so powerful that it did not leave a trace of the warrior, and moreover, it flew for hundreds of meters, destroying everything in its path. A few seconds later, the smoke from the explosion completely dissipated, and in its place stood a man, could it really be Tor Z? At first glance, he didn't look like him, this guy was much younger, he asked who was shouting there and wanted the old man to explode. Everyone around stood with their mouths open, they could not believe their eyes, could the master be so affected by divine power? Yes, it really was Tor Z, thanks to the finger he ate, his body became younger, and his spiritual energy increased hundreds of times. The former old man sank to the ground, his strength so enormous that it was visible even to the naked eye. The first thing he did was the water mirror technique, Tor Z really wanted to see what he looked like now. His face was the same as in his youth, it seemed even a little more beautiful. The master was in seventh heaven, he really managed to harness the great gift of Huan Dan. He turned to those around him and asked if they had ever seen a more beautiful person than him. Now everyone will tremble with fear, the former old man could do whatever he wanted, the first thing he wanted was to take revenge on his wife who cheated on him. Tor Z will take revenge on all those who mocked him all these 100 years, they will definitely pay for everything. People who were watching all this suddenly realized that this fool seemed to have been harboring a grudge against those around him all his life, things were bad. Suddenly, someone from the crowd turned to Tor Z, he said that the master looked like a brat, and the fact that he got a pretty face would not make everyone around him afraid. By the way, this turned out to be one of those men with whom his ex-wife cheated on him, he also added that he wouldn't mind playing with her again. The former old man recognized him immediately, 
with his current strength he could do whatever he wanted to this freak, how arrogant this idiot was. Tor Z suddenly stopped laughing and extended his middle finger towards the old man, now he was about to use the sunbeam technique. A moment later, a stream of energy burst out of his finger, this time the beam was even stronger, it instantly destroyed the arrogant man. The master was pleased with the result, he became interested, perhaps someone else present wanted to go against his will. Everyone around was shocked by his strength, now no one can resist him. Bondin truly turned out to be the pill that everyone had been waiting for more than 100,000 years to gain divine power. Tor Z suddenly realizes that this guy looks very tasty, he wanted to take another bite from him and become even stronger. He feels that if he eats him completely, his magic will reach its perfect form and then the former old man will become the strongest person in history. After that, for some reason, all the people around also noticed that the hero really looked delicious, now everyone wanted to take a bite. Suddenly people rushed towards him, everyone had the same thing on their minds, they wanted to get at least a small grain of divine power for themselves. Shouts were heard everywhere that the pill should go to him, everyone tried to get closer to the guy as quickly as possible. The crowd even began to divide Huan Dan into pieces, some wanted to eat his eyes, some his hand, and some the rest of his body. But Tor Z was not going to just give his treasure to these fools, he decides to put them in their place and activates his technique again. As soon as people saw this, they immediately stopped, they had already seen this thing in action several times, no one wanted to die. The master in the blink of an eye cut the ground around him and created a huge moat to separate himself and the pill from the rest. Pathetic scum, did they all really think that at least one of them was worthy of receiving the power of Huan Dan? After that, Tor Z turned to Hero, he wanted this power to belong only to him, none of these fools should lay a finger on him. The former old man turned to the source of power and asked him not to worry, he could please him. Huan Dan continued to look with the same face as from the very beginning, he didn't care, he said that he would just wait. Tor Z turned to the crowd with a happy face, he had a mature plan on how he could start his path to the top of the world right now. He addressed the people and ordered everyone to listen to him carefully. One of the men was indignant, why the hell should everyone around him listen to him, because he was nothing to them. He didn't even have time to finish speaking when suddenly a beam of light flew in his direction and tore off his pants. This made the man think a little about his behavior, now he was ready to listen to him as carefully as he had never listened to anyone before. The master praised this man, this is how everyone should now address him, then he wanted to continue living. From this moment on, Tor Z creates the strongest faction in the world, everyone present was very lucky, because they became its first participants. After that, he turned his gaze to Ki Jean, as she was the most beautiful girl out of everyone here. The master had noticed her for a long time, so he was going to give her a chance to become his wife and boss for all members of the organization. The girl, in principle, didn't mind, but asked if he didn't have a lover with whom Tor Z lived for many years. But the former old man didn't even want to remember this hag, she constantly cheated on him, and then also blamed him for everything. After their wedding, he was going to visit this old woman and teach her a lesson, she had to answer for all her actions. After this, Tor Z began to think that most likely one wife would not be enough for him, he also needed to add the leader of the clan of magicians to the harem. If they both become his wives, then he will be able to become the ruler of the union and the dark sections. At that moment, the man was overwhelmed with emotions, this feeling was incomparable to anything, he felt like he was in heaven. But suddenly his euphoria was interrupted by a pain in his stomach, it was accompanied by a strange sound, the master did not immediately understand what was happening. Suddenly he exploded, apparently he still couldn't cope with all the power he received from the divine pill. Did it really happen again, there was empty smoke from the explosion, nothing was visible because of it, did it really go off a second time? It really was so, Tor Z also could not subjugate this force, he was torn into pieces, all that was left of him was his hand, which fell directly on Ki Jin's chest. And the old man was really not bad, even after death he knew a lot about women's charms. Huan Dan immediately recovered his two fingers, he still had not found someone who would allow him to fulfill his destiny. The guy once again turned to people and asked who would be the next daredevil and try to eat a piece of his body. But from the expressions on the faces of those around them, it was clear that none of them wanted to take such risks, because even the wise master could not cope. 
Huan Dan noticed this and began to approach the crowd himself, doesn't any of them want to try it, isn't this what they've been waiting for all their lives? The guy turned to the bald man and invited him to be next, but from the look of the monk one could tell that he was afraid. As it turned out, he had no appetite at all, and in general he came here just for company. The guy was not even a cultivator, but simply occasionally read Buddhist mantras. His friends, who had been standing behind all this time, were indignant, because it was he himself who called them here, and in general the bald man was the strongest student of the One Punch Man clan. Suddenly a woman's voice was heard, it was Ki Jean, she took the initiative and said that she was ready to eat a piece. The girl looked quite confident, apparently she had some idea on how to avoid the fate that befell that bull and the old master. The monk was happy, thank God that this warrior intervened, otherwise he would never have been able to get away. Huan Dan agreed, he didn't care who was next, the hero was already preparing to separate one of his fingers. But suddenly the girl asked him to wait a little, she wanted to ask him for something. The bald man suddenly became afraid, had Ki Jean also chickened out and now he would still have to risk his life. The girl didn't want to just die here, she remembered all those idiots who died because they overestimated their strength. She was ready to eat a piece of the divine pill, but it should be much smaller than the one before. Huan Dan agreed, he measured out half the amount of strength and asked the girl if this was enough for her. As it turned out, Ki Jean needed even less, she was afraid to risk her life so much. Huan Dan measured out even less, but it still turned out to be too much, it continued for a very long time. How annoying she was, but most likely Ki Jean did everything right, because no one knows what will happen in the end. Suddenly, people in the crowd began to wonder what would happen if she managed to gain power and survive after that, most likely the situation like with Tor Z would repeat. Huan Dan continued to measure less and less, at some point he reached the very tip of his finger. But even this was too much for the girl, with embarrassment on her face, she asked to reduce the quantity a little more. The hero thought for a few seconds about what he should do, but after that he had an idea and began to pick his ear. A couple of seconds later, the guy pulled out the smallest piece of power that he could separate from himself. Ki Jean was worried, she understood that there was still a high risk of dying even from such a tiny fragment of the great pill. But there was nowhere to go, since it was the smallest particle, she would have to eat it. Holding her breath, she opens her mouth, and Huan Dan brings his finger closer and closer to her. A few seconds later, a small piece of power ends up in the girl's mouth, there was no turning back. Soon she swallows the glowing fragment of the divine pill, and for several seconds she did not feel anything. Everyone around held their breath, what would happen to her now, did her idea really work? About a minute later, the first changes began to occur, Ki Jean felt a huge power that began to flow in her veins. Although she only ate a little, the power had already begun to tear her into small pieces. The girl tried with all her might to resist, she didn't want to end her life the same way as those fools who came before her. Everyone around understood that if her plan did not work, then she would also burst, and some were even glad of this, because it was impossible to live with such large breasts. The monk told the envious woman not to talk nonsense, because he had loved Ki Jean for many years, she answered him that Saitama fans simply have bad taste. At this time, the girl continued to fight for her life, her strength was truly incredible. The energy of the great bowl had a very unusual effect, for some reason, the girl's breasts became even larger. She could no longer resist, this power was about to penetrate straight into her brain. She needed to continue to resist at least a little longer, otherwise she would suffer the same fate as those brave souls. Due to the effects of the pill, Ki Jean rose several tens of meters upward, and golden energy emanated from her body in huge quantities. The people around were surprised at how high she was thrown into the air due to the enormous amount of power. At some point, the girl came to her senses, but something changed in her gaze, it became somehow strange. Immediately after this, she suddenly disappears somewhere. It happened so quickly that no one had time to understand where exactly. People in the crowd began to discuss where Ki Jean went so quickly, the girl was just right above them. Suddenly she appeared right next to the bald man, for some reason Ki Jean addressed him as her mentor. The monk wanted to introduce himself to her, his name was Wang Da, but if she wanted, he would become anyone. But Ki Jean continued to see in him only her master, the girl asked if he didn't promise that he would love her until the end of his life. 
The rest of the men were indignant, how could she choose this bald fool, she should have looked around better. She did not hear them, but continued to talk with her imaginary mentor, she and he had not yet tried so many things in pear cultivation. Ki Jin remembers the times when she and Yun Ting were always practicing new techniques in different poses. Suddenly, the expression on her face suddenly changes to anger, why the hell did he leave her, this is exactly why she needed the divine pill. Why did this old man choose someone else and not Ki Jin, why was she worse, now she even had bigger breasts, all the men were the same. She squeezed the monk with great force, and because of this he almost suffocated, with the last of his strength he activated his defensive technique. But the golden shield did not help him, the girl broke it and pressed his neck with all her might. Ki Jin comes to her senses for a second, she understands that this man is not her mentor, because the master was many times stronger. After this, the girl turns to the other men, they immediately realized that anyone could become her next victim. She slowly began to approach them, but they could not move because of fear, but only called her a demon and asked her not to approach. Ki Jin quickly found the next unfortunate man, the girl noticed that there was no masculinity left in him, but it was not scary because her strength had increased significantly. Everyone else hurried to run away as quickly as possible, it was necessary to take advantage of the moment, because perhaps this was the only chance to survive. And the girl squeezed her new victim with her legs so tightly that he could not move, he only managed to whisper something that she had confused him with someone. Only after this did Ki Jin realize that she had made a mistake, because this man was not at all like her master, because he knew how to lie. At this time the crowd was running away with all their might, and the girl shouted after them that her elder would not run away from her anywhere. She ran after them, because only Ki Jin can be the lover of her beloved Yun Ting. The situation was very strange, everyone who wanted to get the power of the great pill fled from the volcano. There were only two men left who were knocked out by Qi Jin, Huan Dan asked the bald monk if he still wanted to try it. The man understood that if he tried to beat him, he would grab even more of it himself, and trying a piece of him was also not an option. As a result, the monk decides to simply pretend to be dead, but the hero does not believe him and begins to tease him. The guy puts his finger either in his mouth or in his nose, it was clearly visible that the man was pretending, he still had to get up and taste the pill. He held on until the last, but as it turned out, his weak point was tickling, a little more and he would scream with all his might. But somehow the monk manages to remain calm, and Huan Dan cannot understand why everyone around him is such a weakling. As a result, Hiro gets tired of torturing this man and decides to switch to those who tried to escape from the girl. The bald man could not believe his luck, the source of divine power had finally become detached from him. Apparently his prayers to the god Saitama helped, the monk always knew that his faith was not in vain. At the same time, Yuan Tian suddenly appeared on the other side of the volcano, he somehow managed to survive after falling straight into the lava. He was completely burned, and his clothes were still smoking, but it seemed the guy was able to remain relatively unharmed. The young man was going to take revenge on this traitor, he spent all his strength to save these people, they treated him like that. Yuan Tian would definitely kill them all someday, even if it cost him many years of his life, he could not forgive them for this. The guy wanted to take action right now, so he immediately went in the direction of the divine pill. He spent too much energy trying to get back up, but if he managed to eat the source of power, then all this would not be in vain. Suddenly Yuan Tian notices that the chain along which he is walking begins to wobble greatly, the guy raises his head to understand what is happening. Yuan Tian fell into a stupor from what he saw, he had just risen from the very bottom, he did not at all want to go there a second time. At that moment, a whole crowd of people ran straight towards him, they were all scared and none of them wanted to die. One of those running away shouted to the guy to quickly get out of the road, but the man did not stop and tried to jump over him. The runaway's foot was right on Yuan Tian's face, at that moment he couldn't believe that this was happening to him again. Was the guy really such a bad person that now the world is treating him so cruelly that he deserved it? As a result, Yuan Tian falls into the crater of the volcano for the second time, this time he gave up, it seemed to him that it was easier to start a new life than to climb up again. At this time, at the foot of the mountain, after the birth of the Great Pill, several people were fighting for their worthless lives. 
they continued to sit on the ground and could only hear everything that was happening at the top of the volcano at that time. The heroes tried to understand what it was, at first glance it looked like an earthquake, they needed to remove the poison quickly so as not to miss everything. The moment Thor Z used his golden beam for the first time, it broke through the rock and flew straight towards them. Hu Wu Yun and the others tried to understand what this thing was and why it was flying in their direction. Experienced masters managed to assess the situation and remember all their knowledge, they told them that right now they need to bend down. But their less experienced students could only wait with bulging eyes and pray for the best. But unfortunately they did not receive anything good, from this blow they were thrown several meters away, but their masters remained in place. But they did not remain completely intact, their clothes were torn, and everyone could see their underwear. The leader asked her former comrade why he was wearing such funny panties, and he answered her that it would be better for her to look at hers. But their conversation was interrupted by the second blow of the beam, by the way it was even more powerful, Yun Ting did not have time to react to it, but he was very lucky. The man, in turn, tries to pretend that he survived only thanks to his cultivation skills. His old girlfriend quipped with a grin on her face that he was truly one of the best fighters in the world. Unfortunately, even such skill was not enough to protect his hair, but at least his magnificent face was not damaged. The man didn't understand why Hu Wu Yun was so funny, he recommends that she better think about who such incredible power could come from. At that same second, the smile on the woman's face disappeared, indeed, apparently someone had already gotten ahead of them and ate the divine pill. Such a technique could only be used by a person who had reached a level of power absolutely inaccessible to others. They both thought about the same thing, who dared to take away their throne, all their lives they dreamed of touching Huan Dan. Yun Ting thought, if this is a woman, then she will definitely not be able to resist his charms. But suddenly a man got hold of the pill, they all hated him, this outcome of events greatly complicated his situation. At the same moment, Hu Wu Yun was thinking exactly the same thing if a man received power, then she would be able to conquer him with her charms. But if a woman did this, then she will have problems, because all females hate her. Returning to reality, one could hear a huge crowd of screaming people running straight down from the top of the mountain. The heroes noticed this, but could not understand what was happening, why all these people were running away so quickly from the place where Huan Dan appeared. The people ran so fast that a wall of dust rose around them, and the ground beneath their feet shook as if an earthquake had begun. A man and a woman decide to find out what happened on the top of the mountain that could so frighten everyone who wants to gain power. Hu Wu Yun tries to take advantage of his status and says that she, as the leader of the dark sect, demands to know what happened upstairs. But no one even heard her, the crowd was so scared that they continued to run at the same speed. As a result, everyone ran through the couple none of the people even thought about stopping. This was also confirmed by the fact that everyone continued to run away, not one of them stopped to help their elder. It was very humiliating, the woman had been their leader for over 100 years, how could this happen to her? But the worst thing was that even after going through all these humiliations, they knew absolutely nothing about what happened on this damn mountain. Meanwhile, Huan Dan decides to go on his own in search of someone who can cope with his power, because there is not a single person left on the mountain. Suddenly he notices a frog under his feet, the animal was just standing and talking in its own language. Suddenly the guy grabbed a frog, perhaps this animal will become a worthy successor and allow him to fulfill his destiny. He brought her to his face and asked if she wanted to taste a piece of his power, this went on for a while. Only a few minutes later the hero realized that animals cannot speak, and the poor frog simply does not understand him. Huan Dan lets her go, the animal hurries to get away from here as quickly as possible, and the guy hears the screams of some people from below. This interested him, perhaps these warriors will be the ones who will help him, he decides to jump down. At this time, at the foot of the mountain, Yun Ting asked his friend if she heard this sound, but the woman did not understand what he meant. Suddenly Hu Wu Yun realizes that some strange thing is flying right at them from above at great speed. Both of them were still too weak but if they didn't run away now, they might be crushed by an unknown flying object. And Huan Dan was flying towards them from above at full speed, it was their screams that he heard when he was still at the top. Within a few seconds he was below, his landing was accompanied by a huge explosion, even the earth shattered under his feet. 
The guy immediately turned around and looked at the couple, and they, in turn, lay motionless, they did not know what to expect from the stranger. This guy looked pretty strong, and he was also very young, to carry such a stove and jump from such a height you need to be very skilled. Yun Ting wondered why he had not heard of this young man before, a person with such strength should be known throughout the world. The hero came closer and closer to the heroes, but they continued to lie motionless, the situation was too unpredictable. This guy was too strange, and besides, the leader of the magicians and the leader of the union now had absolutely no strength left. They both achieved enormous success in this life, and now they have to remain silent like pathetic rats so as not to be detected. Both the woman and the man decide to use the technique of natural death, this will make them look like they are dead. Huan Dan leaned closer to them and took a closer look, he tried to understand whether these two were pretending or not. The guy said that he was the great cultivation pill and asked if any of them wanted to try it. After this, Huan Dan began to poke the old man with a mustache in the face, perhaps he wants to try his luck and try to control the power. Huan Dan did not leave the woman alone, he also poked her in the face and suggested that she take advantage of the moment. Hu Wu Yun and Yun Ting continued to lie motionless on the ground and did not understand what kind of nonsense he was talking about, maybe he would just leave. Unlike this young man, they were not funny at all, he should get out of here as quickly as possible. But Huan Dan was in no hurry, instead, he again extended his finger to the man's face. This time the hero began to pick his nose, the guy was very persistent and was not going to leave them just like that. In his thoughts, the union leader asked him to stop mocking him, he is just a poor old man. And the woman gloated in her head, she doesn't mind Huan Dan sticking his finger even deeper, let this fool suffer more. The guy friend turned his gaze specifically to her, it looked like he had plans for the leader of the magicians. Hu Wu Yun noticed this and began to worry why he suddenly began to look at her so suspiciously. Suddenly, Huan Dan takes his finger out of the man's nose and, without wiping it, intends to stick it into the woman's nose. Yun Ting watched all this from the side and was happy, he also didn't mind if the hero also tormented his old girlfriend. But suddenly Huan Dan, for some reason, stopped and removed his finger, apparently he changed his plans. Yun Ting was very angry, why did the young man stand up, it means he mocked him, and forgot about her. Hu Wu Yun believed that it was all because of her incredible beauty, all men are the same, they cannot help but be touched by such a beautiful woman. After that, Hu Wu Yun laughed an evil laugh, she was very satisfied with the current situation. Suddenly the guy used his finger to start tickling the woman's navel area. This was very unexpected, he was crazy, how could he do such a thing to a stranger, the man, in turn, praised Hero for his resourcefulness. Hu Wu Yun held on with all her strength, it was very ticklish and painful, if Huan Dan continues further, she will not be able to stand it. And Yun Ting continued to laugh, this guy was just handsome, I wish he had more such capable students as his students. But for some reason, Huan Dan stopped and removed his hand from his stomach, the woman was happy, she was saved. After that, the hero rose to his feet and began to walk around the two people lying on the ground. Apparently he changed his goal again and now it was the man's turn to suffer. The guy looked around, the woman and the man could only guess what his sick imagination was coming up with this time. Huan Dan took out his index finger again, the guy pointed it to that very place, he really was a real monster. Yun Ting had never experienced such pain and humiliation before, most likely, this day was the worst of his life. But the man was not going to give up, he used all his strength to endure all these torments. And yet the leader of the union had never experienced anything like this, his life would never be the same again, it was too much, even his girlfriend admitted it. At the same time, Hu Wu Yun is very glad that this madman did not choose her as a victim. Although only a few seconds passed, it felt like these abuses continued for an eternity. Huan Dan finally removed his hand from Yun Ting, the man could finally breathe a sigh of relief. The woman begged for this guy to finally calm down and not do anything like that again. But it seems that Hiro still had some plans for her, he looked in her direction and was thinking about something. The leader of the magicians did not even want to think about what Huan Dan wanted to do to her, and her former comrade, on the contrary, wanted her to feel something similar. After a few seconds, the guy apparently came up with something, he leaned towards the woman and apparently wanted to stick his finger somewhere again. Hu Wu Yun was terrified, 
she needed to do something urgently, otherwise something terrible would definitely happen. Yun Ting continued to smile at this time, but from the woman's expression it was clear that she had finally found a way out of the situation. Suddenly, the man's physical body screamed, what could make him reveal his disguise, because before this he was able to maintain his composure no matter what. The hero finally waited for the moment when Yun Ting stopped pretending, he immediately took advantage of the moment and once again asked if the union leader wanted to try a piece of him. As it turned out, the woman pressed on a special acupuncture point, if this was done with all her strength, the person would open his mouth in any case. The man could not do anything about it, he could only curse his former partner with all the bad words he knew. Due to the fact that Huan Dan Tak did not receive any answer, he decided to continue his favorite pastime. The guy put his finger in Yun Ting's mouth, and it was the same finger with which he had previously tortured the man in the most inappropriate way. He endured with all his might, this was evident from the marks on the ground left by his fingers. In order to somehow alleviate his torment, the man raised his tongue, so at least he wouldn't feel this taste in his mouth. His torment was so severe that he even tore his shoe, now his toe was visible through the shoe. Hu Wu Yun stood on the side and rejoiced, let this old man suffer, he should taste this taste well. But Yun Ting was a real man, such bullshit would never defeat him, so he said, but it was clear from his face that the man was really in trouble. In fact, the woman didn't care anymore, she was already satisfied that the leader of the union had suffered enough today. But suddenly her physical body makes the same sound as Yun Ting's body a minute ago. The guy immediately noticed this, apparently the leader of the mages also wanted to taste his finger. Stupid woman, did she really think that only she knew such cunning tricks, she couldn't get away with it so easily. Huan Dan was determined to complete the matter, he extended his instrument of torture directly to Hu Wu Yun's face. At that moment, the leader of the magicians wanted more than anything in the world for the guy to stop, because she knew where that finger had been just a couple of minutes ago. But to her great regret, this did not happen. The woman could no longer endure this, she immediately had the feeling that she was going to vomit. As a result, they both returned to their physical bodies, and Yun Ting laughed and called his former partner an old witch, as I will now look at her when they find out what happened here today. Hu Wu Yun had not yet fully come to her senses, she replied that the leader of the union is an old fool, he is still as terrible as many years ago. The woman warns him that if he even tells anyone about this, everyone will know about what happened to his ass today. But Yun Ting was not afraid, because he was a man and he had balls. Suddenly Huan Dan gets into their argument, the guy asks what they are arguing about so loudly. As it turned out, these two completely forgot about Hero, and it was because of him that all this nonsense happened. They urgently needed to come up with something, and since they had already disgraced themselves beyond compare, they had no other choice. The man and woman say their names and say that they are the strongest cultivator and the most powerful sorceress on this planet. The leader of the union condemned the young man for interrupting his cultivation and asked the guy to tell the guy the name of his mentor. But Huan Dan looked at him with absolutely empty eyes, he had a look like that of a small child. Using the telepathy skill, Hu Wu Yun asked if her former comrade was really so stupid, it was clear from the guy's face that he was some kind of savage. Using the same telepathy skill, Yun Ting replied that if she is so smart, then let her figure out what to ask him. The woman didn't mind, she was interested in the possibility that this boy had been practicing with his master somewhere deep in the forest for many years. And by the way, she was very dangerous, one of the strongest in this world, he and his mentor could die if they did not obey. But today, her cultivation has achieved good results, so Hu Wu Yun is willing to give them a second chance. If Huan Dan can make a woman laugh, then she will definitely save the lives of him and his master. But if suddenly the guy does not succeed, then he will bring big trouble on himself and his teacher, these words were accompanied by a demonstration of enormous strength. In fact, it was just good acting skills, they were even better than Yun Ting, he himself confirmed this. The man decides to support this performance and, taking advantage of the moment, also creates the illusion of enormous power. These two believed that such a scene would definitely frighten Hiro and he would finally leave them behind. But the guy continued to sit with the same facial expression as a few minutes ago, it seemed that not a single muscle on his body flinched. Suddenly he finally began to make at least some movements, Huan Dan got to his feet. The old people were very scared, but decided to continue playing their role, 
they asked the guy how he dared to stand up when adults were talking to him. These two gave him one last chance, now the hero was obliged to kneel before them, had the master really not taught him manners. Things were bad, the couple spent the rest of their energy on cool special effects, they hoped that this would be enough to scare the guy. But nothing came of it, Huan Dan still had the same expression on his face, only now he was standing instead of sitting. Finally, he introduced himself, the boy stated that he was the great pill about which there were legends, and asked if they wanted to eat him. Hu Wu Yun and Yun Ting thought and looked at each other, neither of them knew how to react to such nonsense. After that, the couple just laughed out loud, they didn't believe a single word this weird fool said, how could he be a great pill? Huan Dan did not understand the humor, because there was not an ounce of lies in his words, he asked the next question, what was so funny about what he said? The man and woman laughed for several minutes, as soon as they came to their senses they could not believe that such a fool was really standing in front of them. The leader of the magicians thought that the guy was simply fulfilling her request, and thus tried to make her laugh, she praised him for his efforts, he had a great sense of humor. Now he could go, the young man was able to make her laugh, so he earned forgiveness. Now it doesn't matter where Huan Dan is, he should just say her name and then she will come to his aid. Hu Wu Yun had already turned around and was about to leave, but the union leader stopped her, he still had a few questions. Since this weirdo came from the top of the mountain, he must know what happened there and where those strong explosions came from. The main question that interested them was who ultimately ate the divine pill. The young man took such a question as the old man's desire to still taste the source of power. This made Yun Ting laugh even louder. After this, the man said that he has been the kindest person for the last 100 years, so he really wants to make friends with the one who received the power of the pill. Only in this way will the old man be able to regain his wonderful, carefree life. Huan Dan realized that these two did not believe him, he needed to come up with a way to make them stop doubting his words. The divine pill had the ability to transform into any creature he had seen before. Hu Wu Yun and Yun Ting were shocked and the guy began to turn into a bull. And he did this in order to show who was the first of the daredevils who tasted divine power. Well, no one believed him, the man and woman thought that he was some kind of demon bull, but how did he manage to do this to his head? After this, Huan Den answered them that he was not a bull at all, because a real bull exploded immediately after eating his finger. And I decided to demonstrate this with a clear example. The explosion was quite bright and realistic, the leader of the magicians and the leader of the union were in shock what was happening right now before their eyes. Why was it so scary, they almost died from fear, did he really blow himself up, just crazy. At that moment the guy had no head on his shoulders, the couple thought that in such a strange way he decided to leave this cruel world. But what was their surprise when, just a few seconds later, the hero began to accumulate divine power in order to grow a new head for himself. Soon he looked the same as before the explosion, there was not a scratch on his body. Huan Dan saw their faces and wondered why they were so scared, he was just trying to prove the veracity of his words. At this moment, complete shock was visible on the faces of Hu Wu Yun and Yun Ting, they were speechless and did not know how to react to this. Having recovered a little, they looked at each other, each of them trying to understand whether they both saw the same thing. After this, the leader of the union understands that he will have to believe that this guy is really a divine pill, the man concludes that the bull was not a real cultivator and that's why he failed. Huan Dan continued and began to take on the appearance of the second daredevil. After a few seconds, he looked exactly like Tor Z. The man and woman recognized him immediately, what a slippery fellow he was, he was ready to do anything to live a little longer. They always thought that this old man liked it when everyone mocked him, he never even resisted, but it seems they were wrong. These two, by the way, mocked him the most, and someone even hit his little friend, which meant that the leader of the magicians and the leader of the union were the first ones he wanted to kill. But where was Tor Z now, since he could be the strongest man on earth, that means he was able to move quickly. The guy immediately answered this question, apparently he was preparing to explode again. But as it turned out, Huan Dan took on the appearance of a rejuvenated old man. Did he really succeed, because his face became the same as it was in his youth, this meant that something had happened to him in any case, so Hu Wu Yun reasoned. Damn, this old man was ahead of Yun Ting, apparently his place was taken away, what should he do now, the leader of the union thought. 
while the former comrades were thinking about whether it was even possible to fight with someone who had received the power of the divine pill, the hero tried to remember what happened next to Tor Z. After a few moments, he finally remembered what happened next, as a result, another explosion occurred. The old people were seriously frightened, it was no longer funny, they were no longer fresh, their hearts could stop. But in fact, the leader of the mages and the leader of the union breathed a sigh of relief, now at least they won't have to fight Tor Z. At least the woman doesn't have to make eyes at this brawler, and the man doesn't have to give him his mistress. After that, Yun Ting put on a serious face and asked the guy what happened next, who else ate the divine pill. Huan Dan thought for a few seconds trying to remember, and after a couple of seconds he began to transform. The hero turned into Qi Jin, because she was the next one who risked mastering the power of the divine source. Her former partners immediately recognized her, was it really this girl who managed to survive after receiving power and is now the strongest person on earth? But something was wrong about her, the size of her breasts immediately caught my eye, they had clearly become much larger. When the elders realized this, they were very surprised, was this really how the magic pill worked on her? The head of the union noticed that most likely the guy was mistaken, because Ki Jin had smaller breasts and completely different hips, he should have corrected the mistake. And the head of the magicians decided that if those two failed, then this girl certainly could not cope with this power, most likely she, too, subsequently exploded. After this, Huan Dan began to retell the latest events that took place at the top of the volcano. Hu Wu Yun and Yun Ting had already prepared for the explosion, the previous two times had taught them something, now they were ready. But instead, the guy began to feign emotion and repeat Qi Jin's speech about why the leader of the alliance betrayed her love. The elders were surprised that this time no one would burst, but what was Huan Dan trying to convey to them now? Meanwhile, he continued to parody the girl, the guy talked about pear cultivation and how good these two were together. After that, Huan Dan for some reason turned around and ran straight to a nearby tree, it was too strange. As it turned out, he depicted the behavior of a girl when something incomprehensible happened to her head and she attacked an unfamiliar man. The guy didn't even stop there, he ran in different directions for a long time and repeated Ki Jin's words, from which it became clear that the girl wanted to get the power of the pill precisely in order to return her lover. Hu Wu Yun noticed that the old man was very lucky, thanks to the fact that he had strange inclinations, now his mistress was the strongest person on earth. The woman would never have thought that such a beautiful girl like Qi Jin would compete with such a dork like Yun Ting, it was very disgusting. But the man did not listen to her, he stood next to her with a proud look and smiled, it seemed that the current situation was in his favor. Suddenly he began to laugh loudly, at that moment the leader of the union looked like he was crazy, especially with such a hairstyle. He was happy, because now the girl would be on his side, with her power he could crush all his enemies into powder. Now Yun Ting could consider himself the ruler of this world, because no one else living on this planet is capable of going against his will. He used a special voice transmission technique to call his mistress, now he was interested in her again. The answer came immediately, a girl's voice was heard from somewhere above, Ki Jin was glad that her elder had finally been found. Hu Wu Yun was worried, what should she do now, she could soon be in big trouble. Ki Jin, meanwhile, was flying down with incredible speed, at first it might have seemed like some kind of beam of pure energy. Yun Ting was waiting for her downstairs with a happy face, he even spread his arms as if he was going to catch her. But everything turned out a little differently from how he imagined it, when the girl landed, a strong explosion occurred, due to which the man and woman flew to the side. Due to the explosion, strong dust rose, nothing was visible through it, while Ki Jin continued to constantly call for her mentor, she needed to find him as soon as possible. The girl decides to dispel the smoke around her and with one sharp movement disperses the clouds, from her behavior it was noticeable that something was wrong with her. That the former comrades should have calmed down a little, because Ki Jin's level was already beyond their understanding, anything could happen. But the leader of the union decided without hesitation to get closer to his mistress, he ran straight towards her with open arms. Yun Ting was going to kiss her, now he will not always be together, the man was already preparing to declare himself the ruler of the whole world. At first the girl was happy when she saw her mentor, but after that something went wrong in her head again and the expression on her face changed to anger. After that, Qi Jin hit Yun Ting on the chin with all her strength, 
it seems she knocked out several of his teeth. The man did not understand why the girl behaved this way, they love each other, fate itself brought them together. As it turned out, the girl did not recognize him, because in her opinion, the man she loved was much more attractive than this bald old man. Besides, he had the best body on earth, and his clothes were never as dirty as this guy's. Immediately after this, another powerful blow followed, from which Yun Ting flew somewhere up, how dare he pretend to be her mentor. As it turned out, the leader of the union flew so far that at some point his silhouette simply disappeared from view, perhaps he was somewhere in space. Hu Wu Yun laughed until she cried, it was definitely his day, it served him right, Yun Ting deserved it. Well, suddenly Qi Jin turned her attention to her, she asked the woman if she was really the one with whom the elder cheated on her. The leader began to deny this, it was definitely not her, unlike her, that woman was very lucky with her appearance. But it was clear from the girl's face that she didn't even listen to Hu Wu Yun, at that moment in her head there was only a desire to kill someone. The woman continued to pretend and paid attention to her clothes, because they were all dirty, would the leader of the magicians really allow herself to look like that? But Qi Jin didn't believe her, because she knew very well that her mentor was seduced by these breasts, how could you not flirt with such a woman? The girl would have recognized her even if the leader of the magicians had turned herself into stone. Hu Wu Yun tried to calm herself down, she assured herself that she was better than this girl in everything, and everyone was just jealous of her, she just had to come up with some kind of plan. The woman decides to take advantage of Qi Jin's insanity and comes up with a story that her mentor is now having fun with the one she is looking for. The girl even believed such nonsense, tears appeared on her face and she asked again if what she just heard was true. Hu Wu Yun was finally convinced that she didn't have everything at home, she could continue to compose her absurdity, she would believe in anything. The woman talks about how she saw them walking into the sunset and holding hands, they probably completely forgot about Qi Jin. At that moment the girl could not stand it and began to cry, apparently the power of the great pill really drove her crazy, because a normal person would never believe in such a thing. Suddenly she starts screaming with all her might, Qi Jin did not want to believe that her beloved mentor abandoned her and went to someone else. Hu Wu Yun continued to put pressure on her and recommended that she quickly go to her lover, because she could still make it. The girl thanked the woman, she considered her a very good person, because this information should have helped her a lot. Qi Jin even promised to invite Hu Wu Yun to the wedding, at that moment she grabbed her hand and squeezed it so hard that the bone broke. Immediately after this, the girl jumped off the ground with all her strength and went in search of her elder, they must definitely be together. And the woman pointed her finger at her and was very surprised, she really learned to fly, the power of the pill was incredible. In fact, she was just trying to distract Wan Dan's attention, she was very tired of it all, she would rather run away from here. As soon as the guy looked back, the woman disappeared, Hu Wu Yun immediately took advantage of the moment and hurried to hide. Now there was nothing to do here, so Huan Dan decided to go look for someone who would help him fulfill his destiny elsewhere. At the last moment, he looked back and raised his head to the top of the volcano, apparently some events were still happening there. As it turned out, right now, two men who had been beaten by Qi Jin a little earlier came to their senses upstairs. As soon as they came to their senses, they turned around and looked at each other. After this, the guys immediately rushed to hug each other, they were both very scared when this girl attacked them. These two were very lucky, because it was a miracle that none of them had to eat this stupid pill, apparently only Saatama's prayers saved them. The monk remembered how his master said that women are like tigers and one should not be led by their affairs, his friend agreed with him. Since they survived this hell together, they would henceforth become brothers for the rest of their lives, from that day on they were bound. After this, the two friends decided to once again thank their god Saatama for saving them, they knelt down and said a prayer. From this moment until the end of their days, the guys will become brothers, their bond will be unbreakable, and if someone breaks this bond, Saatama will punish him. Suddenly, these two notice that something is happening near the broken jug, some strange purple glow has appeared among its fragments. They were happy, was it really a piece of the pill that somehow remained inside, they were very lucky. The monk decided that they should come up together and check, because such a chance could not be missed. But it became clear from his friend's face that he was not interested, apparently some kind of plan had matured in his head. 
The man immediately decides to pick up a huge stone from the ground, was he really going to betray his brother, they had gone through so much together. The comrade hit the bald man on the head with all his strength with a stone, after all, this scoundrel turned out to be a traitor, apparently he wanted to take all the power for himself. The blow was very strong, even the cobblestone shattered into pieces and shrank several times, and the monk fell to the ground because of it. He was still conscious, he couldn't believe that his brother had so easily decided to do such a vile act. The man hypocritically apologized to him, after all, the world is changing quickly, and now he can become the ruler of the world for him too. After this, the traitor joyfully hurried to the fragments of the great bowl, and his former comrade lay with a lump on his head and cursed him with all his might. The man was getting closer and closer, he was already impatient to receive this power, and when he came close, he admired it. The pill lay on a huge plate, incredible energy emanated from it, the traitor was ready to give a sheep for this thing. He was very happy, had all these idiots really run away and left another pill for him, the man couldn't believe it. But suddenly the purple pill began to transform, the threads of energy that emanated from it took on the shape of human legs. Something really strange was happening around, the pill began to gain energy from everything that came to hand. After a few seconds it was already clear that the tablet was turning into a person, it was definitely a woman. This thing continued to suck the power from everything that was near it, the man felt that his body seemed to begin to age a hundred times faster. He was very scared and tried to run away, but as soon as his foot took a step back, it immediately caught on some stone. The man fell to the ground, and the pill was already finishing its transformation, the legs were already ready, and the torso had its own outline. The traitor felt the energy leaving his body, after a few seconds the transformation was finally completed. He shouted that the girl should not approach him, but the man was no longer interesting to her and she simply walked past him. As it turned out, there was really no use for this traitor, because the purple pill had already taken all his strength. Because of this, the man's body simply dissolved and turned into dust, after which the girl approached the monk. The guy was conscious all this time and could observe what was happening, he raised his head and tried to come up with a plan of action. But nothing came to his mind other than to pray to his god once again, the guy wanted to get out of here as quickly as possible. At the last moment, the monk screamed with all his might and repented of all the sins he had committed in his life. Meanwhile, Hu Wuyun continued to run away, she was very happy because she easily managed to deceive this stupid girl. The woman was very lucky that Qi Jin was under the influence of the power of the divine pill, because in an adequate state no person would believe such nonsense. After running a few hundred meters, the leader of the magicians was tired, being a witch is quite hard, she hasn't exercised for a very long time, now her whole body hurts. Suddenly, an unknown person jumped straight at her from a tree, he was dressed completely in black, such outfits are usually worn by ninjas. The stranger hit Hu Wu Yun on the head with a quick and strong movement, causing her to begin to lose consciousness and fall to the ground. But before that, the woman managed to look back and ask what impudent person dared to hit the leader of the mage clan from behind. The man in the cloak, instead of answering, simply hit her on the forehead with his club again, when she finally fell silent. After the second blow, Hu Wu Yun was no longer able to stand on her feet and fell straight to the ground, but who needed to kidnap her. After making sure that the leader of the magicians was unconscious, the man who attacked her radioed his accomplices and reported that he had completed his mission. Soon his comrade arrived in time to him, this man was dressed in the same outfit, he was instructed to take the woman with him. The birth of the pill brought chaos to the world of the cultivator, people organized themselves into groups to gather information. They looked for any news about new evil cultivators, and in return they received a reward in the form of silver. Many of them had spiritual abilities, the most effective way to move quickly were techniques such as maximum speed. Meanwhile, urgent news came to the Alliance Temple. One of the subordinates came to the deputy leader and wanted to report on what happened at the top of the volcano. The temporary leader was drinking hot tea at that time, he first blew on it, and only then, with a calm face, asked what happened there. As it turned out, at the peak of the immortals there was a terrifying battle, as a result of which their respected alliance head Yun Ting disappeared. His deputy was shocked by this information, how someone as strong as their eldest could lose. Everyone around them was no less surprised, they considered their master the strongest man alive, what should they do now? 
The temporary head even dropped his cup of drink on the floor and rose to his feet, the man asked to repeat once again what the messenger had just said. Suddenly he came to his senses a little and turned his attention to the elder of the temple, the deputy realized that he was too emotional. The man decides to calm down and sit on his throne, at which time the old man nods approvingly to him. Having finally come to his senses, the temporary head with a sad look asked the man to tell again what was known about the events on the volcano. The messenger again repeated the same words about the terrible battle on the mountain top and the sad disappearance of their leader. Suddenly, the deputy sharply struck the throne with his hand and, with an enraged look, asked the question whether their beloved head of the alliance had really died. The soldier was very frightened by this reaction, sweat appeared on his body, he replied that in fact he did not know whether their elder was alive. After this, the temporary head rose from his chair and asked the messenger to think carefully about his words again. This man hinted with all his appearance that the guy and everyone around him should come to terms with the fact that their leader was dead and would not return. He leaned close to the soldier, who had been sweating for several minutes, and asked for the last time whether their eldest died, really. The guy at that moment was so scared that he was ready to say anything, so his mouth itself confirmed the words about death. The messenger hoped that this horror was finally over, but the temporary head ordered him to repeat it out loud again. The soldier had nowhere to go and loudly began his report from the very beginning, for the umpteenth time a terrible battle took place on the mountain, during which the body of their leader disappeared, they were never able to find him, which means he is probably already dead. At this moment, an ominous smile appeared on the deputy's face, it immediately became clear that he was enjoying this moment with all his heart. But he had to pretend that he was incredibly saddened by the death of his mentor, so tears appear on his face. He turned out to be a simply excellent actor, with tears in his eyes, he fell on his throne and pretended that all his strength had left his body. Everyone around him began to ask him what they should do now and, in general, what would happen to all of them now. The deputy knew the answer, it was stupid to ask such questions, because in such a situation there is only one way out. They all need to cry with all their might right now, this is the only way they can honor the memory of their beloved head of the Yun Ting Alliance. People did not expect such an answer, they fell into a stupor for a few seconds, was now really the right time for this? But there was no time to think, everyone suddenly began to cry, otherwise there was a high probability of losing their place in the alliance. The guys wished their master a good life in heaven, and some were sure that heaven itself would be filled with tears because of such grief. At some point, the deputy got tired of this performance and ordered everyone around to stop snotting. But one of the warriors did not seem to hear him and continued shouting about how the world is unfair, because the best people always die first. He was abruptly brought to consciousness by another guy, he slapped him in the face and told him to shut up as long as he could cry. The first guy was offended, why did they immediately hit him in the face, he just thought that they were still mourning their leader. After this, the temporary deputy turned to the elder and said that even though the bones of their master could no longer be found, he should still be buried according to all traditions. The old man agreed, it was right, because all their faith and strength rested on these customs. Therefore, a coffin was needed from the best Chinese cedar, clothes had to be made of silk, and shoes had to be made of gold. You also need to get the specially carved dragon pearls and, of course, all the girls from the orchid pavilion. Suddenly the temporary leader stopped the elder, all these things seemed too expensive to him. Due to the fact that the leader of the alliance has disappeared, their enemies from the Light Clan and the Mage Clan may try to attack, so the money is better spent on something else. The elder agreed with this idea, surprisingly, the temporary leader was absolutely right in this situation. The man argued that now was the most dangerous period, when there was no one to lead the union, they needed a person who would take on this burden. After that, he turned to those around him and asked if they had any ideas about who might be worthy of such a position. Everyone around unanimously decided to elect the deputy leader as the new head of their alliance, although some did not even understand what they were talking about. At this moment, a smile appeared on the man's face again, he had finally managed to achieve such heights. But he continues to pretend and cries again, saying that he really doesn't deserve this, and in general he was going to cry for the next three months. This worked for the crowd and everyone, for the second time, asked the temporary head to take responsibility and become their real leader. After this, the elder with a happy face said that today is a happy day, because they have a new leader, 
which means it needs to be celebrated, but can such a young man lead them all into a bright future through these difficult times? The new head replies that he is really not very experienced to be a leader, so he counts on the support of the elder. Will the old man be able to help him induct him into this position? The elder notices that their new leader is very humble. After that, he turns around and addresses everyone present, the old man asks them to tell everyone in the world that there will soon be a big holiday. Meanwhile, at the main headquarters of the clan of magicians, their leader was reported missing. The messenger got a hard time for bringing such sad news, someone hit him in the face with all his might. It turned out to be a young girl, she was very unhappy with such news and ordered the man to repeat again what he said. He obeyed and for the second time began the story of the brutal battle, but he was not even allowed to finish his sentence, once again the man was hit in the face. But the girl was not going to stop there, she once again ordered him to repeat his report. It was already difficult for the man to speak, because both of his cheeks were very swollen, and besides, his boss was already swinging for the third time. Because of this, he decides to make up a story that Hu Wu Yun went into hiding after stealing the pill, and now he has no idea where she could have gone. Such news finally satisfied the girl and she breathed a sigh of relief. After that, she turned around and said in a loud voice that their leader took the pill for herself and disappeared in an unknown direction. After that, the girl ordered the policeman to tell everyone what she just said, and they also needed to prepare a lot of things. News of the bloody battle for the pill at the top of the volcano spread very quickly throughout the world, and within a few days everyone knew about what had happened. Meanwhile, Huan Dan continues to wander in search of someone who will help him fulfill his destiny. He behaved very strangely, because he did not react to the environment like an ordinary person, suddenly a bird flew up to him and ate a fly from his shoulder. The guy turned to her as if she could somehow understand him and asked her a question if she wanted to take a piece of him and become immortal. The bird, of course, did not understand him and simply watched for several seconds, and at that time Huan Dan sincerely hoped to receive an answer from her. After a few seconds, the animal simply flies away, and the guy gets ready to continue his journey. For several days he walked through the forest and did not find anyone, but suddenly a branch breaks under his feet and Huan Dan hears some noise in the bushes. As it turned out, it was a huge tiger that was hunting a small fox, the large beast turned its attention to the man. The tiger immediately roared, the animal sensed the danger emanating from this guy. And at that time the fox was hiding behind a tree, she was trembling all over, it was clear that she was very scared, and besides, her paw was wounded. Huan Dan turned to the tiger and asked him the same question would he like to eat a piece of it, then the beast could become immortal. Of course, there was no answer, instead, the tiger began to growl at him even more strongly. After a few seconds, the beast and the man slowly began to approach each other. At this time, the fox continued to stand behind the tree and carefully watched what was happening, she was very lucky that this guy was here. Suddenly she decides that the best solution in this situation would be to run to Huan Dan, it seemed to her that she would be safe there. A few seconds later the fox was already near the guy, she was holding the vat and seemed to be trying to say something. But there was no need to forget about the tiger, he was still standing in front of them and was about to attack. The next moment, the huge beast rushed straight towards Huan Dan, it was amazing how such a big animal could jump so high. But the guy was not at all afraid, he continued to stand in the same place and with the same stony expression on his face. The tiger managed to bite off his head in one bite, the fox was horrified, did her savior really lose so easily? The beast swallowed part of the divine pill, and it was clear from its face that it tasted very good. As it turned out, the tiger had never tasted such tasty and refreshing human flesh, it was even much tastier than deer thigh. But suddenly the expression on his face changed sharply, he felt a force that seemed to be tearing his whole body into pieces. After a few seconds, the tiger swelled greatly, his body became like a balloon, because of this he rose into the air. The beast continued to rise higher and higher, and at some point it became clear that it was about to burst. The explosion was quite strong, the fox ducked down so that the fire would not hit it. After that, Huan Dan raised the animal above his head and began to carefully examine it, in fact, he was interested in everything around him. The guy once again asked her his question, if she wanted to eat him, if she was lucky, the fox would become immortal. The animal, of course, did not understand him, she just continued to make her unusual sound, it sounded like Wu. 
Suddenly the fox began to lick Huan Dan's finger, because of this the wound on its front paw quickly healed, and not a trace remained of it. The guy took it in his own way, he decided that the animal wanted to eat this particular part of him. But the fox immediately began to shake her head in different directions disapprovingly, such a proposal clearly did not suit her. After that, she jumped to the ground and headed somewhere, the fox also called Huan Dan, the animal wanted the guy to follow him. But he did not understand what they wanted from him and simply continued to stand still, because of this the fox began to scold him in his own language. The animal decides to act and runs behind the guy, he begins to push him in the direction he needed to go. Only after this did Huan Dan realize that they wanted to show him something. The fox waved her tail approvingly, it was clear that she was happy. After that, the two of them went to some important place, at least the animal really wanted the guy to see it. They walked for quite a long time, and at some point a barrier appeared in front of them in the form of a deep river. The animal hoped that it would be able to overcome this body of water without any problems, but the current turned out to be too strong and it began to drown. He was saved only by the fact that Huan Dan was nearby, the guy dived after the fox and pulled him to the surface. The animal sneezed out of gratitude, at least Huan Dan took this sound as gratitude for the rescue. A few hours later, they came to the high mountain, it became clear that they somehow needed to climb to the very top. The fox tried to do this on his own, with his small paws he gradually began to climb up. At first everything went fine, it seemed that the animal knew what it was doing. But suddenly he breaks away and flies down, it was very dangerous, because the fox had already crawled quite high. At that moment, he realized that he was too confident in his abilities, now only a miracle could save him. In fact, the height was not that great, in the end, the animal fell right on the guy's face, and he escaped with only a slight fright. Huan Dan decides that since the fox really wants to go upstairs, he should help him with it. Since he was a divine pill, he had unique abilities, for example, he could be attracted to any objects. Thanks to this skill, he was able to walk on a vertical stone very easily, thus they would be able to get to the right place very quickly. Within a few minutes, these two were at the top, the mountain was quite high, apparently people rarely walk here. The fox immediately began to sniff out the trail, the place he wanted to show the guy was not so easy to find. After some time, the animal finally sensed the trail, it immediately rushed into the nearby bushes, it was clear that the fox was very excited. As it turned out, what the animal wanted to show was an unusual plant, it was quite small in size, and its flower looked like a yellow ball. Meanwhile, at the top of the volcano, the woman who appeared from the purple pill took the monk as her subordinate. The animal tried to say something in its language about this plant, but unfortunately it was difficult to understand. Huan Dan tried to figure this out for a long time, but unfortunately he wasn't very good at it. Since he existed in this world only to fulfill his destiny, he decided that the fox wanted to eat him here. But in response to this, the animal again began to wave its head in different directions disapprovingly. They sat like that for several hours, all this time the flower made some unusual sounds and occasionally began to glow. In the end, the guy asks again, when the animal begins to eat him, it became clear from the fox's face that he was already in despair. The animal makes a last attempt to explain his desire, he points his paw towards the flower, and after that he points to his mouth, after such hints, even the stupidest person would have guessed what he wanted. But unfortunately, Huan Dan wasn't even a person, he's just a magic pill, so even after that he didn't understand anything. They sat in this position for a very long time, meanwhile the sunset began, the night was soon to begin. Even the next day, the guy continued to parrot the fox when he would start eating it. The animal was simply in shock, what was wrong with this guy, why couldn't he just pick this thing off the flower? As a result, the fox was completely exhausted, he fell to the ground and stuck out his tongue, he needed time to rest. Suddenly another person climbed up the mountain with them, it turned out to be a young girl, but why did she need to go so far? As soon as she was at the top, she immediately rushed towards Huan Dan and his new friend. The guy and his animal looked at her with a surprised look, at some point the fox got scared and rushed back to the vat. As it turned out, the girl was in such a hurry to get to that strange plant, she was incredibly happy and said that she was finally able to find it. It was the Qianyang flower, the stranger had been looking for this ingredient for many months, and now she could not hide the joy on her face. 
Suddenly Huan Dan poked her with his finger and asked if perhaps she would at least be the one who wants to eat him and gain divine power. Because of this, the girl was very confused about what this guy wanted from her, and why he looked so strange. The stranger stood up and asked Huan Dan who he was and what his words meant. The girl suggested that these two also needed a rare flower. But in fact, the guy repeated the same question, and the stranger asked him to be silent for a couple of minutes. She understood that they were the first to find the plant, but at the same time she very much asked that these two give the flower to her. But Huan Dan just sat and continued to be silent, and the animal growled at that time, he clearly didn't like the girl. The stranger realized that she would not get what she wanted so easily, apparently she would have to offer something in return. For some reason, with a shy face, she begins to take off her shoes from her left foot. The girl offered to stroke the guy with her foot for a minute, for some reason she thought that he liked that. But in response, the stranger received only silence, did he really not like her leg, but this couldn't be so. Apparently she really wasn't good enough, now the girl had no choice, she had to raise the stakes. The stranger offers to let Huan Dan look at them once, something the guy definitely won't be able to refuse. The girl was very embarrassed and turned away, but Huan Dan only asked again if she wanted to eat the great cultivation pill. Suddenly a stranger rushes to him and asks if he also knows that this plant is one of the most important ingredients of the divine pill. In response, the guy said that he didn't know, he was simply the source of divine power, which the great alchemist had once created. From such an answer, the stranger fell into a stupor, what was this fool talking about, he really behaved too strangely. At some point, she can't stand it and starts laughing loudly, it seemed to her that he only looked like a crazy person, but he really turned out to be crazy. But since Huan Dan called himself a divine pill, it means he at least knows about its existence, and perhaps also wants to create it. But the guy continues to repeat the same thing, when will there finally be a person who will decide to eat him? The girl was already tired of his jokes, once was too much for her, and when they start repeating one joke many times, it begins to irritate. She declares that the cultivation pill must belong to her, because the stranger spent almost her entire life studying it. Huan Dan, with a straight face, asked why this divine pill belongs to her, and if so, why doesn't she try it? In fact, the girl was going to become the first alchemist to create a source of divine power. The last person to succeed was the great alchemist Ji Yang, who disappeared immediately after creating the great pill hundreds of years ago. Now the method of its creation was lost, but the stranger heard that the source appeared a couple of days ago, but for some reason nothing happened after that. She thinks that not a single pill will last several hundred years, it would simply rot, so even if someone eats it, he will no longer become the strongest person. The guy knew how everything really happened, he tells the girl that nothing happened, because everyone who ate the pill simply exploded. Stupid fool, why is he talking as if he was there in person, he should stop talking nonsense, the people who gathered to get the pill were the best warriors in the world. The strongest cultivators and masters on the entire planet, they couldn't just explode because of a divine pill. After this, the girl asks if Huan Dan heard about the terrible fight that took place at the foot of the volcano. But when she saw the guy's face, she realized that talking with him was useless, unfortunately, he was a useless conversationalist. Her name was Shi Yui, and she vowed that she would one day become the best alchemist on this planet. She believed that she would definitely be able to create the legendary divine pill, even if she had to spend many years on it. After this, the girl invites the guy to make a deal. Meanwhile, the girl who appeared from the purple pill wanted to eat the completely rotten apple, and her subordinate asked her not to do this, because it really scared him. Shi Yui suggests that they simply give her the Qian Yang flower, and in return she will share the source of power with them once she manages to create it. Huan Dan realized that the girl did not believe him at all, he had to come up with a way to prove the veracity of his words. He asked if she was sure she was going to eat the pill after creating it, Shi Yu replied that she never breaks a promise. In addition, the girl always achieves her goals, in the end, she offers to swear to each other using her little finger. But unfortunately the guy didn't know what they wanted from him, Shi Yui couldn't believe that this savage didn't even know about the little finger oath. The guy not only didn't understand why they should take each other's little fingers, he didn't even know why the concept of an oath even existed. The girl tried to explain to him that this means agreement between people, in what wilderness he grew up, that he doesn't even know such basic things. In the end, 
they still manage to do this, they swear that no one will be able to break this promise for 1000 years. Great, now the promise between them was made, sure Yui finally received this flower. But suddenly Little Fox intervened in the conversation, he began to growl and snort, it was clear that he was very angry with her. The girl thought that the pet also wanted to take part in their oath, so she brought her little finger to him. Now the animal also participated in their agreement, it was very cute, sure Yui asked Huan Dan if it was his pet. After that, the girl began to stroke him, she was wondering if this little fox was a boy or a girl. The guy decides to find out and immediately raises the animal so that sure Yui can determine its gender. As it turned out it was a girl, there was no doubt about it. The fox was shocked, how they could put her in such an awkward position, why people treated her like an object. This made her very angry and she began to scratch the girl's face with all the paws she had. As a result, Shir Yui's entire face was covered in small scratches, and the animal became very embarrassed and turned away to its owner. In fact, it was already quite late, the girl invited them to return to their village, she was ready to give them an overnight stay. Shir Yui pointed her finger into the distance and pointed to one place, it was very far away, more than 100 miles away, they should hurry up. The girl asked the guy to be very careful, because the mountain they were on was very high. Fortunately, she had a hook with her, thanks to which they could quickly get down below. Huan Dan asked if they really needed to hurry, Sure Yui replied that yes, she had already repeated this several times. Suddenly the guy got off to a low start, his new girlfriend looked at it in surprise, was he really an absolute crazy person? A few seconds later, Huan Dan abruptly began to run towards the girl, who, in turn, was in shock, he was about to knock her down. As a result of this, they flew straight down at high speed, so they would actually get to the right place very quickly. Sure Yi was very scared, she screamed and asked to let her go, the fox also experienced the same emotions. Huan Dan decided not to refuse the girl, he didn't mind, so he easily spread his hands. As a result, they found themselves at a great height, and unlike the guy, his new girlfriend and pet, unfortunately, did not know how to fly. These two were so scared that they didn't even understand what situation they were in now, at that moment they exhaled with relief. But in fact, right now everyone was at a bird's eye view, and birds were flying next to them as if nothing had happened. A few seconds later, the heroes flew straight down, the girl and the animal were terrified, because they, unlike Huan Dan, had a real chance of dying. Sure Yui thought that she was still too young and a stupid girl, why did fate send her such trials, she would never forgive this idiot. A moment later, they fell to the ground with all their might, the roar was very strong, and a huge cloud of dust rose around the crash site. The girl had already said goodbye to life, she cried and said that everything was lost and her dreams would never come true. The guy asked her if she could eat the great pill after she dies, this was important because after all, they had an agreement. Of course, she won't be able to do this if she dies, why even ask such stupid questions, speaking of which, Huan Dan actually landed on his feet and saved his friends. Sure Yui after a few seconds, she comes to her senses a little, she realizes that she is actually alive, tears appeared in her eyes. The girl immediately begins to feel herself to understand whether she really managed to survive falling from such a great height. When she finally realized that she was okay, her hands themselves reached out to the guy's shoulders. She also had a completely logical question about how he managed to do this, he was definitely not a person, an ordinary organism is not capable of this. Huan Dan replied that it didn't matter, besides, they were already there, but sure you didn't quite understand what he was talking about. As it turned out, they were actually where they had planned to go for a long time, it was incredible, but they managed to cover the whole 100 miles in a few minutes. Having found himself in the right place, the guy was doing his usual thing, he endlessly repeated the same question, when the girl finally finished, these endless arguments tired even the fox. The girl was collecting plants, and Huan Dan was very bored just following her and doing nothing. At some point she can't stand it and breaks down, he's not yet tired of asking the same thing a hundred times, how long can this last? Sure Yui understands that the guy is in a hurry, but he was not the only one who wanted to quickly finish his business. Huan Dan, as always, heard what he wanted to hear, once again he assumed that the girl was ready to eat the divine pill. 
She made it clear with all her appearance that he was annoying her with these stupid questions, so they should set a couple of rules. If the guy follows them, then their agreement will continue, but otherwise the agreement will disappear, Juan Dan decides to listen to her. The first rule was that such stupid questions could no longer be asked, and he would only open his mouth when the girl gave permission. Her interlocutor continued to stand with the same incomprehensible expression on his face as usual, it was impossible to even tell from him whether he agreed to this or not. Sher Yui waited for a few seconds and then asked him to at least say something, otherwise she wouldn't understand anything. But Huan Dan was not simple, even after a direct question he continued to stand with the same look, as if he was not here. The girl was quite fed up with this, why was he silent, had he really forgotten how to speak in such a short time? Suddenly, her new friend still gives an answer, he agreed to such conditions. Sure you could finally breathe a sigh of relief, that's great, now you can calmly continue your business. She became interested in how ordinary people generally communicate with him, she almost died when she listened to his questions, even Xiao Bai was tired. The girl decided to name the fox by this name, she really liked her, Shi Yui took her in her arms to stroke her. It was clear that the guy didn't know anything about communication, if he didn't know what to say, it was often better to just remain silent. By the way, the girl completely forgot to ask where her new friend was from, maybe by learning this information she will be able to understand his strangeness. Huan Dan did not answer anything, he perfectly remembered the new rules of their agreement, he did not want this agreement to lose force. Yes, this guy took everything too seriously, Sher Yui said that now he can calmly talk to her. Huan Dan's answer was incredibly informative, he moved his hand to the side and pointed in the direction with his finger, saying that he came from there. The girl at first thought that he was pointing to an area where very strange people lived, but how could he be born there? Because of all these incredible events, she completely stopped paying attention to the strange outfit of her new friend. Everything pointed to the fact that the guy was a rejected child, if you think about it logically, then this could very well be true. That's exactly what Sher Yui thought, it would explain everything, by the way, such children always have a lot of oddities, and it was thanks to people like him that this earth became famous. The girl suddenly felt ashamed, perhaps she behaved too rudely with her new friend, she wanted to apologize to him. Huan Dan and his pet did not understand what she was talking about, what other rejected children were, what she was talking about. Their new friend, with a grin on her face, wondered if they really didn't know that the strangest people in the area had settled in this place. Representatives of various races gathered there, it was a place where no one would ever judge anyone for his choice. As a result of this, they raise children whom the normal world is not ready to accept, and it is they who are called rejected. This really seemed like a logical explanation for this strange behavior, this guy was definitely one of those kids. But the girl did not see any problem in this, moreover, she offered to teach Juan Dan several rules to make it easier for him to communicate. Suddenly his face changed at least a little, it became clear that he was interested in this, he asked what exactly the rules were in question. Sher Yui also noticed this and was very happy, the first step in the socialization of this eccentric had been completed. This was very good, because starting is always the most difficult thing, and the first step is always the most important. So, if he wants someone to help him, then he should help first, no matter what kind of help is needed, just do your best. It would be more correct to say even this way you need to make every effort to get something from a person. Unfortunately, the guy nodded his head to the sides in response, and his fox did the same. Well, what was incomprehensible here, you need to make every effort to get something from a person, he should have repeated it. Well, at least Juan Dan could do this, he exactly repeated all the words that he had just heard from the girl, and his pet tried to do the same. This could already be called a success, they were both great fellows, and sure you petted Xiao Bai as a prize. The guy was also not bad, he learned quickly, but he was still far from ideal, he would have to teach a lot of lessons in the future. If Huan Dan can learn all these rules, he can easily become a normal person like everyone else. The girl asked if this made him happy, but the guy remained silent in response, after all, there are rules, there are rules, they must be followed. Sure Yui asked him to speak, Apparently these rules were unnecessary after all, she should have formulated them better. Huan Dan asked her, why does he even need to be like everyone else, isn't it terribly boring? His girlfriend clearly did not expect such a question, 
she should have thought about it as best as possible. After a few minutes, she still couldn't figure out how to answer this, after all, ordinary people never ask such questions. Okay, it didn't really matter, they had to go, otherwise they wouldn't make it before sunset. After a few minutes, they could already see on the horizon a place called the Blue Sky Clan. The girl turned to her new friend and asked if he knew what the Blue Sky Clan was. But his answer was standard, he again waved his head left and right, Huan Dan was in his repertoire. Sure Yui realized that now she would again have to explain everything to him on her fingers, this quickly tires. The Sky Clan is considered the most prestigious on the entire server, in order to create peaceful living conditions, they adopted a huge number of rules. In order for the members of this clan to allow these two to live on their earth, they must abide by these laws unquestioningly. In no case should they be violated, if they fail, then even their new friend will not be able to help them. She asked them if they had heard everything well, in response to which the guy and Xiaobai nodded their heads approvingly. Well, at least this was clear, now we can continue on our way. But suddenly Shiryu steps on a trap, causing a huge spiked ball on a rope to fly straight towards her. Only by a miracle did the girl manage to jump to the side, at that moment her life hung by a thread. Because of this, her back hit the only thing her new comrade was wearing, it was quite painful. Having come to her senses a little, Shiryu looked around and tried to figure out who dared to put this thing right here. Suddenly, from the top of the tree on which this dangerous thing was hanging, a voice was heard, the one who was sitting there was surprised how he could miss. Meanwhile, a woman in a red dress and her assistant monk got into trouble while walking through the forest, a group of bandits wanted to rob them. Oddly enough, the heroes also found themselves in the same situation, a second after the incident with the trap, the villains attacked them from the bushes. There were several of them and they were armed with bladed weapons, the girl asked who they were and what they needed. The gang clearly consisted of the leader and several of his wards, one of whom turned to the boss and noticed that these two were clearly not a couple. The big guy laughed, the stupid girl didn't understand anything, but he is the main character in this world. Sure Yui was very surprised what kind of nonsense this fat fool is talking now, is he imagining himself as the hero of some movie. At that moment, the gang leader approached her and said that she was very harmful, but at the same time her face was very pretty. The disgusting bald man was getting closer and closer, he liked the girl's smell, it immediately became clear what was on his mind. Meanwhile, the rest of the bandits noticed that this thing the guy was wearing was made entirely of copper, so it couldn't even be sold properly. At some point, the bandits notice a fox that was sitting inside, she interested them much more than a large piece of copper. This animal had white fur, which is why it could be sold for good money on the black market. One of the villains was going to give a fox to his mistress, she would probably be very happy with such a gift. Sure Yui could not stand such an attitude towards the animal and lost her temper, she ordered this scoundrel to repeat his words. But in response they only laughed at her arrogantly. In this situation, she clearly needed to carefully watch her words. And in general, their boss traveled for a very long time, and along the way he managed to train 13 students, and because of this he was an honored guest in the Blue Sky Clan. At that time, the fat man stood proudly and picked his nose, he asked him not to praise him so much, but in fact he has a lot of strength, despite his appearance. The girl thought for a second, the place where they were going was inhabited by honest and decent people, they would never respect an idiot like this bandit. After that, she told the attackers that she did not believe a single word they said, the girl understood perfectly well that they were all just lying. Immediately after this, the fat man suddenly grabbed her head with his hand, his fingers were so large that they were able to completely encircle Shiryu's face. He ordered her to know her place, and also that she should take everything out of her pockets, and it better be something valuable. If she doesn't have anything worthwhile with her, the bandit doesn't mind making soup out of her and eating her. The rest of the villains continued to stand nearby and laugh disgustingly, while they were still torturing the unfortunate animal. Huan Dan at this time simply stood and watched, after all, ordinary human emotions were alien to him. His girlfriend realized that they were now in a terrible situation, she said that she would do anything if they let them go. After hearing this, the fat man notices a jug that was hanging on Shi Yui's belt, perhaps there was something worthwhile inside. She tried to pretend that there was actually nothing there, it was just a jug for collecting medicinal herbs. 
But the bandit immediately realized that the girl was hiding something very valuable there, otherwise, she would not have been so worried about it. The villain stretched out his huge hand straight to the precious flower, sure you urgently needed to come up with something, she had been looking for this plant for many months. In the end, the girl couldn't come up with anything better than just biting the fat man's hand, she would never call him to take away her treasure. The bandit got very angry about this, he immediately grabbed her by the neck, the situation was getting worse and worse every minute. The fat man lifted the girl several meters up, how could this brat afford to bite him? After that, he easily took away the jug with the valuable ingredient for the divine pill. The villain squeezed Shur Yu's throat very hard, she was in great pain and couldn't breathe, it was only through willpower that she continued to resist and reached for her precious plant. After this, Huan Dan changed his behavior, he noticed that his girlfriend was struggling to save the flower, which means he should help fulfill her wish. This is exactly what the girl taught him, if you help others, then someday people will reach out to you and repay you in kind. The bandits did not hear well what this guy was saying under his breath, so they ordered him to repeat it all again. Huan Dan intended to fulfill his friend's request, after which she would eat the great cultivation pill and he could fulfill his destiny. One of the villains tried to hit him, he was very infuriated by the stupid look of this savage. But the bandit didn't even have time to finish, the guy sent him flying with one blow, finally he got what he deserved. After that, Huan Dan ran up to the leader at the speed of light and took the jug with the flower from him. The fat man didn't even have time to understand how this naked fool managed to take his prey away from him. His subordinate noticed that the third of their gang simply disappeared somewhere, apparently from the guy's blow he flew very far away. The leader ordered his subordinate to be more specific, but he himself did not understand anything, everything happened so quickly that he did not notice anything. Suddenly Xiao Bai decides to act, she begins to scratch the scoundrel's face with her paws with all her might. Thanks to this, the fox was able to escape from his clutches, and immediately after that she ran back to her favorite place. Huan Dan stood with the jug in his hand and believed that he had done everything right, due to the fact that he was just a source of power, he did not understand that he should save his girlfriend first. At this time, she was completely weakened, she did not have enough air, sure Yui could suffocate at any moment. The fat man asked the boy where he had taken one of his subordinates. After that, the scoundrel threw the girl to the ground and said that he would have a short conversation with those who annoyed him. Sure Yui fell to the ground and lay motionless, it was unclear what state she was in now, perhaps the girl was unconscious. The gang leader threatened Huan Dan and recommended that he say goodbye to his life, he was clearly worried, but insisted that this was serious. After this, the fat man activates his spiritual energy, yellow lightning begins to flow from his body. After this, the other bandit admired, this was his boss's golden body, now he was stronger than diamond and iron armor, even 13 Taibao divisions could not defeat him. The big guy showed off his technique, this is what a real cultivator should be, and trash like this brat would never reach his level. Even if he spent his entire life training painfully, he still wouldn't be able to even come close to that kind of strength. After that, for some reason, the fat man hit the ground with all his strength, because of this, pieces of stone scattered in different directions. But it seems that only his subordinate liked this performance, he shouted about how strong his boss is, his skills are simply something. The gang leader once again asked if these kids were scared now, such force was bound to frighten them. After that, he told Huan Dan that he would let him strike first so that people would not think badly of him, he thought it was cooler than winning the lottery. His assistant advised him to be careful, because the guy was actually not simple, after all, they never found their comrade. And in general, usually after such pretentious speeches the fat man gets into trouble and gets hit hard. The boss told him to shut up, how many times should he explain, he shouldn't talk about it in public. He believed that if you think like the main character, then you yourself become the main character, this was the most important thing in their business. These words struck the bandit to the core, he even burst into tears, his boss was definitely obliged to take his place in history. The big man couldn't wait for the first blow from Huan Dan, he was sure that he could easily withstand it and win after that. The guy asked him if he really wanted this, if so, then his wish would definitely come true. In fact, the gang leader could no longer wait for this, he was at his limit and ordered him to be hit immediately. Huan Dan immediately fulfilled his request, 
at first it might seem that the blow was very weak. But after a few moments, a real cycle of powerful golden energy began. After such an attack, the villain flew somewhere far away, it was so powerful that it even hurt his ward. The fat man flew hundreds of meters, even the huge rock on which stood the house of one of the members of the Blue Sky Clan did not stop him. He pierced through it and flew somewhere further. The last of the bandits was still nearby, due to the fact that the villain was caught by this blow, he only fell to the ground a few seconds later. The picture was unusual, the sun was shining through a hole in a huge rock. The bandit was shaking with fear, he couldn't even imagine what this man would do to him now. He decides to do what he does best, so he starts calling the guy a hero and praising his strength. After that, he falls to his knees and comes up with a story that this fat man forced him to join the gang, and he himself never wanted it. The guy wanted to tell him something, but at that moment the bandit had thoughts running through his head that he would now be threatened. Because of this, he does not wait for Juan Dan's words and begins to bow even more, the villain asked for forgiveness several dozen times. He asked with all his might not to take his sinful life and called the guy his master. In fact, the hero wanted to ask him, perhaps he had some kind of request, but the bandit at that moment only wanted to run away from here quickly. When he realized that the guy was not going to kill him, he ran away with a face full of happiness. Sure Yu was still lying on the ground, she was still unconscious, she had suffered greatly from this bandit. Meanwhile, the Blue Sky Clan sounded the alarm because Huan Dan hit that fat man so hard, everyone around thought that an enemy attack had begun. The ringing of a bell could be heard all around, it was worth informing the heads of all the peaks who were nearby about this. The head of the clan at that time was quietly dozing on his throne, he did not even suspect that something had happened on the surface. Suddenly, elders from all sectors ran into his hall, and he jumped out of his chair in surprise. The old man did not understand what was happening and pretended that he was glad to see them all here, but what made everyone come here? The head of the clan did not know what happened, perhaps it was a light clan, or perhaps a dark one, unfortunately it was not clear. One of the elders noticed that, as usual, this old man learns about what happened only from them. The head of the clan was no longer young, so why did he always have to be taught such basic things? In fact, they were in a very difficult situation, so it didn't matter who was behind this attack. It was decided to hold negotiations, it's funny that the main people in the clan were now discussing an attack that never even happened. While the elders were discussing cunning intrigues, the head of the clan sat with a stony face and did not understand what was happening at all. At some point, the conversation came to the conclusion that such a strong blow could only be carried out by a completely new strength cultivator, and he was at a completely different level. Perhaps it was the person who ate the great pill, if so, then they would all have to kneel before him anyway. Some elders disagreed with this, if such a cultivator really appeared, it would violate absolutely all the rules of this world. After all, now the strongest person could simply force the head of any clan to surrender and thus seize power, but suddenly these conversations were interrupted by the chief elder. He heard that there was also a conflict between their enemies, so at first it was best not to make hasty actions. And in general, the blow fell on the third sector, which means it was only their problem. But the head of the third sector did not agree with this, because if they don't help her now, then in the future other sectors may come under attack, after all, they are one whole. Well, after all, the one who attacked them didn't like it, they tried to please everyone who surrounded them, they even regularly gave gifts. Perhaps these gifts were not enough for them, perhaps the third sector should send several of their students. The head of the third sector was indignant at such a proposal, how could this old man offer such shameful things? The elders of the other sectors stood on the side and tried not to interfere in this dispute. The elderly head of the fourth sector told his colleague that if she continued to insult him, then next time he would vote for a woman to become the new head of the clan. The head of the third sector was disarmed, apparently none of those present in this room, even the current head, wanted to be the eldest of this clan. But still, the woman was not at a loss, he would not be able to take her weakly, and the next head of the clan could be the head of the fourth sector. The current head of the clan just sat and listened to all these screams, the old man really was not the most proactive person. The elders continued to argue for a very long time, at some point the discussion risked turning into a fight. After a few minutes, everything that was at hand was used, cups, swords, shoes and the like were flying around. But in the end, the clan leader can't stand it, 
he gets up from his chair and turns to the elders, they were ordered to stop, but unfortunately, no one present in this room listened to him, instead, a book thrown by someone fell right on his face. Suddenly the old man declares in a loud voice that if they do not immediately stop this indecency, he will immediately leave his position. This worked very well, all the elders stopped instantly, they understood that if this happened, then one of them would have to take his place. The head of the first sector reminded the head of the clan if he had forgotten what he had to endure from them during the last elections. As it turned out, the elders completely controlled the old man, even his family was completely under their control. If he does not want to experience the soul-devouring pill again, then he is forbidden to even think about leaving his post. As a result, the elders leave this problem to the head of the clan, because they actually have a lot of things to do without it. After that, everyone simply flies away to their respective sectors, and at that time the old man was left alone in his office and was thinking what he should do now. Sweat appeared on his face, it was clearly visible that the old man did not know what to do, he had never found himself in such situations before. But at least something had to be done, and in the end he sends his messenger to tell all the soldiers in the temple that they need to come to him. When everyone was gathered, the head of the clan asked them who wanted to go to investigate what had happened, the one who returned from there alive would receive a good reward. But none of the warriors were particularly interested in such a proposal, each of them saw how powerful this attack was. Because of this, everyone began to come up with some kind of excuse, some had a very sore throat, and for others the cultivation was going very poorly. The old man was furious, he understood perfectly well that they were all lying to him, but what should he do, the master couldn't go there on his own. At some point, the head of the clan lost his temper and threw something at his table with all his might, causing the furniture to shatter into small pieces. Suddenly the warriors stopped pretending and stood in a row, apparently their master was now seriously angry, it was better not to tease him again. The old man warns that if none of them takes the initiative, he will independently choose a random person. But the crowd did not react to this, apparently no one took him seriously. The elder was furious, why no one listened to him, everyone must obey his orders unquestioningly, he is still the head. The old man told everyone that the rich, those with authority and those who have rich parents can leave here now. He didn't need such people, now there was an urgent need for real tough warriors. Suddenly everyone who stood in front of him begins to run away joyfully, how good it is that this fool himself came up with a reason thanks to which they could leave. As a result, a few minutes later the head of the clan stood alone in his office, there was not a single living soul around. Little assholes, if they run away from problems all their lives, they will never learn anything and die fools. The old man stood in the empty room for a long time and shouted into the void, he called everyone around him garbage and animals. Suddenly a guy came out from around the corner, the elder couldn't believe his eyes, had some fool really not managed to escape from here? How glad he was to see him, at least something made him happy on this earth, a good boy, the best student in the entire temple. Grandfather was very lucky that at least one of his subordinates decided to take on such a difficult mission, but in fact the guy simply did not have time to get out, because he was squeezed by the others. But the old man didn't even hear him, he held him with a crazy look and praised him as best he could, in his opinion the guy had an honest character, just what was needed. The soldier tried to find a reason to leave and said that his family was also quite rich, after all, they could afford to raise as many as ten pigs. But the head of the clan simply did not pay attention to this, he talked to himself that dark times had come for them and something terrible had happened. But if his subordinate manages to return from the mission alive, the old man will teach him the secret technique of invisibility, the guy seems to be very interested. The grandfather assured that all the problems of this soldier would disappear as soon as he could learn the technique of invisibility, it was passed down from generation to generation. This technique was the ancestral secret of the old man's family, and only he was the only one in the whole world who still owned it, it was called the Six Truths. Meanwhile, Juan Dan and his pet were thinking about how they could help their friend. She was still lying on the ground unconscious, but what should they do? It was unlikely that there was a doctor or even just a living person somewhere nearby. Although the guy hardly even understood who the doctor was, he simply poked the girl's cheek with his finger as usual. And after that he began to tickle her in the navel area, apparently in his opinion this should somehow help her. But of course this did not give any result, Xiao Bai looked at her master and thought that he was doing this. She decides to repeat these movements, 
what if Huan Dan knows some secret technique that will help heal Shir Yui? They stood in this position for some time, the guy and the fox running their fingers over their stomachs, hoping for the best. Suddenly this gave its result, the girl began to move, at first glance she acted as if she was very ticklish, and after a few seconds she finally opened her eyes, it seemed like everything was fine with her after all. Shir Yui immediately began to laugh loudly, the girl was very vulnerable to tickling, this was her weak point. She couldn't stop for a long time and asked what the two were doing now, but suddenly the laughter on the girl's face changed to anger, she looked at Huan Dan with a very angry look. Immediately after this, Shir Yui slapped him in the face, which is what this shameless person allows himself to do, why did he think that he could do such a thing with her navel? But the guy knew from personal experience that this was actually the only way to wake up his girlfriend. The girl was shocked ere this fool got such nonsense from, he really had a very strange life path. By the way, this can be regarded as harassment, and in general, how do such actions help to wake a person up? Shir Yui did not forget about the animal, the girl noticed that the fox also took part in this, Xiao Bai, in turn, was scared. Huan Dan tried to calm his friend down and noticed that their method worked in the end, she woke up, right? Shir Yui didn't know how to respond to this, because indeed, such stupidity somehow helped her. As a result, she became very embarrassed and ordered her friend to simply never do that again, it was very indecent. Suddenly the girl notices something on the side that really surprises her, she immediately turns all her attention there. It was a huge hole in the rock where one of the outposts of the Blue Sky Clan stood, where this thing came from. Sure Yui was even a little scared of what happened here while she was unconscious, and by the way, where did those bandits go? Suddenly, the same man who was unlucky enough to be alone with the head of the clan approached them from behind a tree, he asked how they were feeling. The heroes saw this man for the first time in their lives, they asked him who he was and why he was so interested in how they were doing. The scout needed to come up with some kind of plan, after all, the situation was dangerous and it was better to sort it all out as quickly as possible. He remembers a conversation with an old man when the master was going to teach him how to use the invisibility technique. His subordinate was completely ready to learn this technique, he could not wait to try out invisibility in practice. But in fact, his grandfather simply advised him how to behave when meeting different people, for example, when you see an enemy, it is better to immediately run. And now the scout could go, the head of the clan taught him everything he knew, if he returned, he would definitely have a bright future. The man will become very strong, but he was constantly bullied anyway and had no support. And if he manages to return with success, then everything will change, he will be head and shoulders above all the other students. The scout was ready to fulfill his mission, this was a chance for him to break into the people, at least that's what he thought. The man remembers his master's advice and decides to show respect to strangers, he starts talking about the weather. Their meeting must have been destined by fate itself, the intelligence officer tried to gain their trust. Suddenly the girl notices an amulet made of wood, all members of the Blue Sky Clan wore such things, it was their distinctive feature. She asked what sector he was from, in fact, masters rarely just walked around in such places, it was quite strange. But the man replies that in fact he grew up in a village on the mountain, and he met the master in the forest, his bones and foundation turned out to be excellent for training. After this, the scout asked a counter question about where they were coming from and where they were going now. Sure you replied that she was an alchemist from a distant village, her great-grandmother was invited to their clan for her achievements in alchemy. And the girl herself dreams of becoming as capable as her relative, she is ready to make all her efforts for this. But the man didn't really listen to her, he kept looking at the figure, apparently he really liked her. The scout suggested that the stranger was one of those pitiful mortals who came to the mountain in the hope of getting the great pill. This girl was very beautiful, and in their sect all the most beautiful ones had long been taken away by the elders and rich people. The man has a thought in his head, perhaps he will be able to seduce Shir Yui, this was his only chance to be with the beauty. He says that he has been cultivating for many years, and now fate itself has brought them together, does she want to become his cultivation partner? They could do pair training all day long, this would help them develop their skills. Sure Yui replies that her goal is actually to create a great pill, so it's better for her to be alone for now, but thanks for the offer. This answer infuriated the scout, he grabbed the girl by the clothes and asked if she refused him because he was a freak or something. 
Right now, Sure Yu is missing out on the greatest opportunity, because the man, according to him, has a lot of experience in dual cultivation and is good at it. After this, the scout finally swam and began to blame all women for the fact that they are all the same and are only attracted to handsome men. The girl tried to somehow calm him down and said that in fact he was not so ugly, but the guy still did not calm down. Sure Yui said that he just looked a little strange, what she really meant was that the man was in pretty good shape. But in fact, it didn't matter what he looked like, this is not the main reason for the refusal, but what is the problem then? As it turned out, the girl actually already liked someone, such words completely broke the scout's heart. The man asked her if her lover was apparently very handsome, to which Shi Yui replied that he shouldn't care. After that, the scout grabbed her by the shoulders and was indignant at how she dared to talk to him like that, she better understand that it is better to meet the right man, not a handsome man. This behavior was already going beyond all limits, the pervert was getting closer and closer and said that today the girl belonged to him. Shi Yui got scared and closed her eyes, it was very unpleasant for her to be next to this idiot, she screamed and ordered to let her go. At that moment, Huan Dan approached them, he heard that his girlfriend had made a wish again, he should have fulfilled it. The man asked who the hell he was, he shouldn't have meddled in other people's business, or maybe he thought he was a hero. But the guy didn't listen to him and simply asked the girl if she needed his help now, if so, then he would do what he had to do. Sure Yui replied that everything was fine and there was no need to worry about her, in this situation she could take care of herself. She could not beat up the scout, because in this case she would not be accepted into the Blue Sky Clan, if this happened, then she would not be able to fulfill her dream. Suddenly the man notices that the hero has put a cauldron on himself, while he is completely naked and has a cute face, this only said one thing. Most likely it was Sure Yui's lover, Huan Dan was indeed handsome, but at the same time he looked very strange. The scout recalls that the master advised him to be careful with eccentrics, because they can drive him crazy and provoke him to rash actions. Perhaps this guy with the cat is hiding his strength, but if he is so strong, then why didn't he attack him as soon as he saw him? At this moment, two opposing essences were fighting in the man's head, one was telling him that he should start attacking, and the other was recommending that he be careful. On the one hand, such an opportunity can only come once in a lifetime, a freak like him will never again be able to win such a beauty, but on the other hand, health is still more important. No one will get him at this rate, doesn't he really want to at least improve his genes in this way, maybe his son will be born handsome. As he thinks, how many years he has left to live, maybe at least before his death he should give up his stupid principles. As a result, the man accepts the dark side, yet the bad traits in him were stronger, and besides, he was tired of living such a boring life. He suddenly puts on a serious expression and points his finger at Huan Dan, but what was this scout going to do now? Suddenly he makes an admiring face and extends his hand towards the guy, it turns out that the man wanted to make friends with him. Sure Yui is surprised what this idiot wants to do, she didn't expect such behavior at all. The hero once again asked the stranger if he might have some kind of request, if so, then he would make every effort to fulfill it. In response to this, the man asked them if they had seen anything strange around, such as this huge hole in the rock. Still, they were nearby, the couple had to see who the person was who could leave her. Huan Dan replied that he knew, at that moment the man was happy, he was about to be able to complete the mission and return for the reward. But suddenly the guy starts telling the story again, now he was going to transform into those bandits. After a few seconds, his face changed and became like that fat man's, the man and girl were shocked why he did this. Huan Dan looked exactly like the gang boss, by the way, Xiao Bai was the most surprised, she almost had a heart attack. The guy repeated the phrase that the fat man had told him, he turned to the scout and asked him to hit him. The man was in shock, he didn't know what to tell him, he shouldn't have agreed to this mission, damn old man, he's nothing but problems. After this, the hero tried to remember what happened next, as a result he once again changes his appearance. Sure Yui didn't understand what was happening before her eyes, who her new comrade really was, who could even have such abilities. And at that moment the man became so embarrassed that his blood pressure rose and his nose began to bleed. This is all because the guy turned into his girlfriend and repeated her words that the first step is the most important, if someone wants a good attitude towards themselves, then they must first help others. 
And no matter what kind of help you needed, the most important thing was to just do your best and use every opportunity that you have. The girl was very angry, she ordered Juan Dan to immediately return to her previous appearance, she did not like that she was cloned. But Juan Dan had already shown everything he wanted and independently returned to his usual appearance. His interlocutors were waiting for what he would do next, because one could expect anything from this guy. After that, the hero simply showed how he hit that fat man, he did it only because he was asked to do it. The gang boss made a wish, and the guy should make every effort to help others, so he helped. His blow at first also seemed insignificant, but after a few moments a strong wind began to blow around. And immediately behind him a huge wave of golden energy appeared again, it was so huge that it was a miracle that the man was not hit. Only at the last moment did he manage to jump to the side, and a huge beam destroyed everything in its path. This time he hit a rock that stood nearby, now everyone in the clan will decide that someone attacked them a second time. From what he saw, the man began to shake, he could not believe his eyes, who is this guy anyway, where did he get such strength? The scout decides to fall on his knees in front of him, perhaps it was God himself, in which case he better show courtesy. Juan Dan also sat down on the ground, he noticed that he had fulfilled the man's wish and showed what happened here, now it was his turn to help. The scout was ready to do anything, he will fulfill absolutely any request that is asked of him. Immediately after this, the hero separated his finger from the rest of his body, it became clear that his desire was that the man should eat his piece. He and sure you have seen enough miracles today, but Juan Dan never ceased to amaze. The guy asked the man to eat his finger, then he could get the power of the great pill and become immortal. The scout expected anything, but not what it means to become immortal, and what if it might have some side effects. But the promise had to be fulfilled, Juan Dan, without thinking twice, simply shoved a piece of himself directly into his mouth. A man comes to swallow it, he was worried, because who knew where this finger could have been before. Suddenly the realization comes to him that something is starting to happen inside, this feeling was simply incredible, he had never experienced anything like this before. It seemed to him as if he was drowning to the bottom of the ocean along with a hundred beauties, he had tasted a lot of delicious food in his life, but nothing could compare to this. The man seemed to be back in the days when he met his first love or the moment when his heart was broken for the first time, emotions overwhelmed his mind. After this, he notices that changes also occur in his physical body, all his vessels, bones and internal organs are transformed. As a result of this, his body changed a lot, he became much stronger, his muscles looked like the scout had been training his whole life. His spiritual energy was so much that it could be seen with the naked eye, and he felt incredible strength within himself. The girl couldn't believe her eyes, was her new comrade really a source of divine power? The man decides to test a new power, now he has the ability to telekinesis, he easily picked up a fallen branch from the ground. This power allowed him to understand that everything he had studied up to that point was frivolous, these techniques were just garbage compared to telekinesis. After this, the scout threw the picked stick into the same rock that Juan Dan pierced through. The man was very happy, in his previous state, he would never have been able to throw this thing so far. The scout began to consider himself the strongest man on earth, now this entire planet should become his property, and he is allowed to do whatever he wants. Sure Yui and Xiao Bai listened to this nonsense with a surprised look, could it be that the power that this man received had driven him crazy? At this time, the scout reflected that he would never again obey the elder, now he could do whatever he wanted. First of all, the man was going to go to the elder of the third sector and her students, he had long wanted to do this. Suddenly he turns his attention to the girl and points his finger, even though she rejected him, their meeting was still destined by fate. Suddenly, his belly begins to grow greatly, a golden glow was visible through his skin, and huge veins began to appear on his body. The scout did not understand what was happening to him, and his body continued to inflate like a balloon. As soon as Shir Yui wanted to ask him about this, the man immediately exploded, causing the girl to fly several meters back. At that moment she was on the verge of a nervous breakdown, today the girl saw so many strange things that she would have enough for the rest of her life. Maybe at least someone will bother to explain to her what is happening here now, suddenly Shir Yui notices her new comrade. She reacted very strangely, apparently due to the stress she received, her mind became clouded, so the girl began to run away. 
She considered Huan Dan a monster and rushed into the nearby bushes screaming for help. But the guy didn't understand why she was behaving this way, it was still absolutely normal, what could scare her so much? He called his friend and said that there were no monsters here, she should quickly get out of the bushes, because the Sky Clan was already very close. Suddenly, Shi Yui, with tears in her eyes, asks Huan Dan not to kill her, because she has not yet achieved her dream. The girl continued to cry and tried to understand what kind of person was standing in front of her, perhaps he was a mortal or some kind of deity. In response to this, the guy calmly replies that he is a great immortality pill, he has already told her this many times. Shi Yui had already prepared an answer and began to admire the great pill, she pretended to be delighted by his very presence. But at some point it dawns on her whether her new acquaintance really just spoke about that very great pill of immortality. She was all sweaty from excitement, the girl asks the guy to slowly repeat again what he said a minute ago. Huan Dan, as usual, repeated everything that had happened before, his pet tried to repeat after him. Shi Yui put her hand on his shoulder and asked him again if he really wasn't lying, this meant that whoever ate his piece would become immortal. In response to this, the guy and the fox nodded approvingly from top to bottom. The girl still couldn't believe what was happening, she wondered why her new comrade didn't say about it earlier. But in fact, Huan Dan said this at their first meeting, in fact, this was the first thing she heard from him. Her friend threw herself on his neck, a wide smile on her face, after all, all her ancestors tried to create the great pill, and now she was standing right in front of her. She remembered her grandfather and great-grandfather, did she finally manage to reach them and they sent her such a reward. Having come to her senses a little, Shi Yui still asks one question, in fact, he worried her from the very beginning. Why did the divine pill look exactly like that, why did it need to take the form of a living person? In response to this guy asked what he thought the source of divine power should look like, maybe she had better options. All her life the girl thought that the divine pill looked exactly the same as it was described in the book. The great pill has a glow that comes from earthly energy, this is exactly what was written in all alchemy textbooks. She tried to understand if her friend had at least some resemblance to such a description, for this she even looked into his mouth. It was also written in the books that if a person eats this pill, his body will be renewed and he will become much stronger and stronger. But as it turned out, Huan Dan's body at first glance looked absolutely normal, there was no resemblance. By the way, if he is still a source of limitless power, then why did that scout who ate his finger explode? Shouldn't the guy have made him an immortal being who would have no equal in the whole world? It was immediately clear from Huan Dan's face that he had no idea why this happened every time he tried to fulfill his destiny. The hero asked his friend about this, but she, of course, did not know why she needed to ask him such a question. They had no other choice, sure you grabbed the guy by the hand and dragged him with her, they had to hurry. They should have returned to the girl's laboratory, all the necessary tools were there, the guy should have been thoroughly studied. She didn't want to die at all, so she would only eat it when she found a safe way to do it. Huan Dan understood everything, he had finally made at least a little progress in fulfilling his destiny. The guy decides that there is another way to get to the right place, his option, of course was several times faster. Speed was undoubtedly a huge advantage, but he didn't know at all the path he needed to take to get to the laboratory. The hero didn't seem to care at all, he dragged his girlfriend forward, and with every second they accelerated faster and faster. This guy wasn't at all worried about his girlfriend's condition, he should be a little more careful next time. Sure Yui could only scream and beg this fool to run a little slower, at this rate he would rip her arm off. But it seemed that he didn't understand her at all, in the end, just like that time, they found themselves high above the ground. Meanwhile, a dialogue was taking place in the office of the head of the Blue Sky Clan, the elder of the Third Sector was trying to find out where the scout was now. The old man advised her not to be nervous, this fighter was the best of the best, they should just wait, he would definitely return. Now they need to think that their enemy will come to them in any case sooner or later, my grandfather believed that everything was planned. The woman came closer to him and asked what was the use of these conversations, maybe the head of the clan had some kind of plan. In response to this, the old man bowed his head and smiled, with his whole appearance the grandfather tried to show that he had thought through everything a few steps ahead. Suddenly he stood up from his throne and lifted his robe, there was some strange armor on his knees, don't tell me that this is his plan. Tell
The elder of the third sector even removed the cloth from his face because of this, this old man was simply unique. The head of the clan at that moment was proudly thinking that no matter what person came to them, he would easily kneel before him. Suddenly his face turns angry, he looked at the woman and said that she should be as careful as possible. The elder of the third sector was surprised why he was saying this to her, was she really in some special danger? The old man told her this because the first strike was on her territory, which means she will have to meet this person first. Grandfather considered this a huge loss, because they had never even practiced dual cultivation, and besides, the fifth elder would soon become the new leader. But the woman was not at all afraid, she leaned closer to her grandfather and was going to tell him something. The elder said that even if something happened to her, it would take another million years for this old man to surpass her. But the leader had thought it through, as soon as he heard this, he immediately took out another pair of knee armor. The woman was happy, in principle, she didn't need anything else from this old man, it's still better to stay alive than to play with pride. But he asked her to stay for a while longer, as it turned out, the clan leader had prepared something else for the woman. She turned around, and at that moment something began to sparkle brightly around the old man, was it really some kind of precious thing? In fact, the grandfather pulled out some strange thing from his robe, it looked like food products connected with each other. It was the great protective membrane, if you are a man, make sure you are thin enough before using it. There was also great laughing powder, compressed into pills, if you are a woman, then just eat it, and then your enemy will not be angry with you. The elder thanked the clan leader for such gifts, but why was there salted fish among all this? The old man was surprised, was his subordinate really so inexperienced? It's obvious that fish is great as a snack. After this, the woman asked if perhaps the leader had some secret techniques for kneeling and begging. Grandfather knew that she would ask him exactly this, they should have gone to his secret room, which was located behind. He still has techniques from eastern countries, he asks the elder to allow him to teach her the special skill of kneeling. All this happened even before the second impact, when it happened, it could be heard even in the central temple. The woman and the old man fell to the ground, this time the explosion seemed to be even stronger, they could not believe that it happened again. The clan leader was seriously scared, who was behind all this, who they had managed to displease. Soon he was informed that this time the peak of the fifth elder was broken, it happened in exactly the same way as that time. The grandfather makes a strong-willed decision and, using the loudspeaker technique, begins to welcome their new guest of honor. Apparently he thought that now someone would definitely appear, but in fact absolutely nothing happened. They stood in this position for several seconds, there was complete silence around. The elder of the third sector was trembling all over with fear, only after a minute she raised her eyes and asked if the one who was behind all this had come, but the leader said that she should not worry, because this time the blow fell on the rock of the fifth elder. Suddenly the elder of the fifth sector runs up to them, she hastened to report an incident that happened on her territory. The woman notices a rather strange picture the elder of the third sector and the leader of the clan were in an indecent position. The couple said that there was nothing strange that they were together, and in general, it was very indecent to walk in like that without knocking. The woman, in turn, began to ask what they were doing here, maybe she should wait outside and come in a little later. But they answer her, that they didn't do anything like that here, the fifth elder needs to stop inventing all sorts of nonsense. And in general, she came here because there was an explosion on her territory, so why doesn't she speak to the point? Where did her ego go? She didn't care about everyone around her before, so what made her change her character so much? The blonde didn't know what to answer to this, she just became shy and started muttering something under her breath. Suddenly the elder of the third sector said that she was just joking, because now was not the time to sort things out, they were all in danger. The thunderstorm was already close, so we need to stick together, the only way the Sky Clan will be able to overcome this black streak. The three of them should throw away the past and open up to each other from a new side, only in this way they can change everything. The old man decided to take advantage of the moment and began to assent, he agreed that everyone here should be as frank as possible. Meanwhile, the heroes headed straight to Shur Yui's laboratory, she had to show the way at great speed. Within a few minutes they arrived at the right place, it was the girl's native village, she had lived here for as long as she could remember. Finally. They could breathe a sigh of relief, another test had been passed, it was impossible to get used to it. 
It turned out to be a village in which mostly potion masters lived, everywhere one could hear conversations about seedlings for flowers and molds for pills. She was called immortal, at least that's what was written on the stone that stood near the village, they were in place. When the guy realized this, he immediately headed towards the laboratory, but his girlfriend asked him to wait a little. After all, in this form they could not be seen by anyone, first they need to change Juan Dan's appearance. After all, this thing that he wore instead of underpants attracted too much attention, he needed to get rid of it as soon as possible so that he could get into the village unnoticed. Juan Dan acted radically, he decided to simply take off his only clothes, the pet did not even understand at first what he was going to do. His girlfriends were shocked, what they saw was very strange, was this really a feature of the great pill? When trying to remove this cauldron from himself, the guy split into two parts, he did not see anything strange in this and was about to move on. Sure Yui thought that her comrade was completely stupid, what was in his head was most likely just grass. At some point, the girl realizes that these dialogues are taking too much life force from her, sometimes she just wanted to end everything. But in any case, it was necessary to come up with something, perhaps there is a way to somehow reduce this huge thing. As it turned out, this could really be done, it didn't even require any special manipulations, it happened at the request of Juan Dan. He just thought about it, and the piece of metal immediately became much smaller, but it was still too noticeable. Therefore, the guy continued to reduce the only element of his clothing over and over again, his fox continued to sit inside all this time. At some point, the vat became too small, and the animal was trapped, its owner should have been more careful. The girl immediately rushed to save Xiao Bai, she begged for forgiveness with all her might and immediately told Huan Dan to make this thing a little bigger. Fortunately, nothing serious happened, soon the furry animal was rescued, he was safe and sound. After some time, Kazen shrank to almost the size of normal underwear, but the guy still looked rather strange. A friend recommends that he make this thing a little smaller, then they can find him normal clothes. The hero listened to the advice, but suddenly this piece of bronze began to glow very brightly, this had never happened to him before. After a couple of seconds, it became clear what had happened, as it turned out, Kazan had completely disappeared, now Huan Dan was standing completely naked. He thought that everything was fine now, nothing should have stopped them from entering the laboratory unnoticed. His girlfriend was simply shocked, why is this guy so strange, she asked him to stop, after all, they haven't found him underwear yet. But unfortunately it was already too late, the hero went straight to the field where many villagers were working at that time. Not this, it was very bad, if everyone in the village finds out that this eccentric came with Shiryui, Yui, then she will be disgraced for life. But at first the villagers did not notice anything strange, they continued talking about the evening show they watched yesterday. Suddenly, the girl caught on a stone lying on the ground and fell down with a roar, Xiaobai landed with her. When Shir Yui looked up, she realized that she was now in the most shameful situation in her entire life. At that moment, everyone around her was looking at her, she was lying on the ground, and her strange friend stood in front of her completely naked. The villagers were very surprised. They immediately recognized the girl and asked who this eccentric was. She was immediately bombarded with a lot of questions about whether she could really find such a guy while she was looking for the ingredients to create a pill. After this, rumors about this spread throughout the village, and soon a huge crowd gathered, they all questioned the heroes. Sure Yui was incredibly ashamed, she was bombarded with questions for a long time, this is what it means to live in society. A few hours later, everything finally calmed down a little. Suddenly a woman approached them and asked the girl if she knew what to do at night. Sure Yui is already very tired of these hints, she announces in a loud voice that she actually doesn't know who he is. But Huan Dan immediately revealed her lie, he did not understand how to behave and asked his friend if they hadn't met a few days ago. In general, people were happy that the girl returned to the village, they thought that she had given up her goal of creating a magic pill and decided to become a normal person. But in reality, Everything was not like that at all, sure you tried to explain everything to the noisy crowd, but it seems that no one heard her at all. Suddenly the hero breaks into the conversation and declares that in fact he himself is the source of divine power. His girlfriend didn't want everyone in the village to know about this, so she covered his mouth with her hand and said that she found him on the road and picked him up. The neighbors praised her for her intelligence, 
she managed to find such a handsome man, and also skillfully take advantage of the moment. Someone from the crowd offered the girl an aphrodisiac, it had a positive effect on the kidneys, and their relationship with it would become even stronger. Sure Yui could no longer listen to all this chatter, she felt incredibly ashamed and ran away with her comrade. They ran for several minutes and eventually ended up near an abandoned building at the very edge of the village. Now, wherever the girl goes, everyone will laugh loudly at her, she blames Huan Dan for everything. But now this was not the most important thing, Sure Yui said that they need to hurry and pointed her finger at a building that looked abandoned. The inside of this room was even worse than the outside, some boxes were scattered everywhere, and instead of windows there were broken boards sticking out. It was hard to believe, but someone was still living inside, it was a very old and sick man, his whole body was wrapped in bandages. The girl came up to him and took his hand, this man was her father. It was already difficult for him to speak, so when he realized that his daughter had returned home, he could only cough a few times. This man was really very bad, at some point he began to breathe very hard. Probably only she could understand what he wanted at that moment, so she immediately guessed that he needed medicine. The jar of pills stood very close, but her father was so weak that he could not reach it on his own. Sure Yui took the dark ball and put it into the man's mouth as quickly as possible, the patient began to shake in pain. But the painkillers took effect quite quickly, and after about a minute his trembling stopped and he fell asleep. The girl talked to him and it turned out that the next memorial day was very soon, the sect would send someone to pick him up. The daughter asked her father to be patient a little longer, she knelt down and began to pray with all her might for his health. At that time, the guy stood behind him indifferently, he still didn't care about ordinary human affairs, he was only interested in the appearance of a person who could eat him. In fact, they needed to go to another place, they came here simply out of the need to visit a loved one. Sure Yui went to the other end of the building and pulled the lever, as it turned out, this house had an underground floor. The steps down were very long, most likely this is where her laboratory is located in which she can study Huan Dan in detail. Suddenly the hero heard that the sick man began to breathe heavily again, apparently the pain returned to him again. The guy asked him if maybe he needed some help from him, but his girlfriend said that he wouldn't be of any help here and they needed to hurry. After that, they went down the steps, the heroes went down for quite a long time, it was very dark everywhere, only a flashlight could save them. The path was quite unusual, especially considering how the house looked from above, in contrast, the passage was made of stone. After some time, they finally arrived, the heroes found themselves near a wide and fast underground river. After walking a few hundred meters more, Sure Yui reported that they were finally there, this is where her secret base was located. This place looked rather modest, the laboratory consisted of several tables and a partition that acted as a wall. But the owner felt at home here, she loved her den very much, here she could do whatever she wanted. The girl asks her new friend to be careful and, if possible, not touch anything so as not to break it. She even had her own bathtub, which was filled with water from an underground river. A friend suggested that Huan Dan take a bath. The underground water was very clean and healthy, you can even drink it without pretreatment. But suddenly Sure Yui remembers that the guy is actually a divine pill, he doesn't have to eat or drink at all. Soon the girl leaves and leaves her friend and his pet alone, they should not have lingered in the bathroom. At some point, the animal became thirsty and decided to taste the water from the underground river, he seemed to like it. Huan Dan became interested, he asked the chanterelle if this was the same water that you could drink. Xiao Bai looked pleased, this water is really very tasty and healthy, she nodded approvingly to her owner. But the guy, as always, did something strange, he lowered his head straight into the bathroom with all his might, apparently he really wanted to try. Meanwhile, the woman who appeared from the purple pill was bathing in the bathtub that she had taken from the bandits who attacked her. Due to the fact that the fox fell into the water, she began to drown, this happened because she did not expect such a sudden dive. At some point she felt really bad, Huan Dan understands that something needs to be done, otherwise his pet is about to suffocate. Therefore, the guy decides to drink all the water from the bath, this way he will be able to save Xiao Bai. Surprisingly, it worked, after a few seconds, all the water magically disappeared from the tank, which was filled to the brim. But the water couldn't just evaporate, it ended up inside the hero's stomach, and by the way, it wasn't going to stay there for long. 
It began to seep through Huan Dan's ears and nostrils, still, the laws of physics cannot be deceived even by the power of the divine pill. After some time, all the water flowed back into the bathroom, while the fox was nowhere to be seen. Suddenly, balls of air began to appear on the surface, and the water level rose even higher than when they first climbed. Immediately after this, Xiao Bai's ear appeared on the surface of the water, but for some reason it became much larger than before. Suddenly a girl emerged from the water, she had the same ears as a fox, but much larger, she asked some savior to help her. But who was it? How did this girl appear here? Was it really Xiao Bai? Why then did she turn from a fox into a human? Having come to her senses a little, the stranger looked at the guy, most likely it was him who she called her savior. This was indeed the case, because immediately after this she attacked him with hugs and thanked him for saving him. Sure Yui heard some strange sounds behind the screen, perhaps she heard it, but this was not the first time it happened. She pulls back the partition and asks what happened, why she heard a woman's voice. An incredible picture opened before her eyes her friend and some girl she didn't know were sitting together in her bathroom. At the same time, the stranger with the ears behaved very indecently, it was as if a fox was climbing Huan Dan's cheek. The owner couldn't understand what she just saw, who she was and how she managed to get here, this place couldn't be found just like that. But as it turned out, the girl with the ears recognized her, she addressed her by name and was very happy when she saw her. Immediately after this, the stranger got out of the bath and jumped straight onto Shiryu, while she was not wearing any clothes at all. The owner had no idea how this girl knew her name and why she was acting so strange, but there was little time to think, and soon they both found themselves on the floor. Below, Shiryu asked not to come so close to her, because she was very embarrassed, they had never even met before. In order to somehow understand what was happening here, the hostess asked her friend who she was and why he was sitting with her in the bathroom. But in response he only nodded his head to the sides, he also did not understand where it came from. This question is answered by the stranger with ears herself, she wonders why her friends didn't immediately understand who she was, it's Xiao Bai. The owner couldn't believe it, how could this girl be Xiao Bai, because Xiao Bai is a small, fluffy white fox. So why did she suddenly turn into a human, that was exactly the question Shi Yui asked her, how could this happen? But Xiao Bai knows exactly as much as the others, she had no idea why she suddenly turned into a human. It didn't really matter, the girl with the ears was just happy that she could now walk on two legs like everyone else. The hostess asked Tuan Dan to help remove their new humanoid friend from her, because she herself did not want to do this. Besides, Xiao Bai continued to lick everyone forever, it was very disgusting, at least sure you didn't like it very much. The guy was happy to help, but as always, he did it in his own way, instead of leaving the bathroom like a normal person, he simply broke it. As a result, only broken boards remained, and all the water flowed back into the waters of the underground river. The owner was very angry because of this, these idiots broke her most important piece of furniture, by the way, the bathtub was very expensive. The girl spent literally all her savings on this thing, where will she now have to take a bath? Huan Dan didn't understand what he had done wrong, she herself asked for his help, so he came as soon as possible. At this moment, he let go of Xiao Bai, who was holding her just above the floor, causing her to fall down with all her might. After that, the hostess calmed down a little, she understood that they were not exactly human, although they looked similar, so it was her own fault. Her friends at that moment stood in front of her completely naked, this could not continue, they needed to find some clothes. Sure Yui orders them to stand still, now she will go upstairs and find them some outfits, the girl no longer wanted to appear somewhere in such a company. As soon as the mistress left, the girl with the ears turned to the guy and looked at him with a grateful look. After that, she walked up to him and started rubbing herself against his arm, for some reason Xiao Bai continued to act like a fox. Suddenly some rags flew on their heads, Shi Yui brought clothes for the two and told them to get dressed. But the couple still didn't understand why they needed to dress at all, since it was much more comfortable without clothes. But this was out of the question, people always need to wear clothes, if they are naked, they will never become normal. In response to this, Huan Dan and Xiao Bai noticed that they were not people at all, he was a divine pill, and she was essentially a fox. The hostess is tired of this nonsense and she is already shouting and orders them to just put on what they brought. The girl with the ears coped with this task with ease, the outfit suited her, 
as if it had been sewn directly to order. But the guy had problems, although he said that he coped with it, but it was painful to watch. Sure Yui will have to once again show this fool the most basic things. Huan Dan somehow managed to put on pants instead of a jacket, and a jacket instead of pants, in fact it is not that easy to do. His girlfriend told him to just stand still and not move, but even so, getting clothes on this guy was quite difficult. After a few minutes, everything finally worked out, although not without incident. Now the hero looked like a normal person, if he did not open his mouth, then no one would notice how strange his behavior was. Sure you noticed that he was very tense, she advised him to relax a little, this place was a good place to rest. At some point, the guy and the girl approached, almost sweating, which made the hostess a little embarrassed. She immediately turned away and blushed, she wanted to change the topic and said that she was giving them these clothes. Suddenly Xiao Bai stated that this outfit was a little too small for her, especially in the chest and buttocks, this needed to be corrected somehow. And since this outfit was given to her, she could do whatever she wanted with it, so the girl with ears simply tore the skirt in the place where she was uncomfortable. This made her much more comfortable and she looked happy, but the owner couldn't understand why she would ruin the clothes, she could have just chosen a different size. Huan Dan has already washed himself, so his research can already begin, after all, he really wanted to quickly fulfill his destiny. Indeed, behind all these strange events, Sure Yui completely forgot about why they came here in the first place. She promises to quickly study him from head to toe, and then eat the guy completely and get all the power of the source. The girl quickly got to work and after a few minutes the first ingredient was ready, it was some kind of green-blue potion. This thing could break down the ingredients of the divine pill and form simple substances from them. For example, you could take the painkiller pill that she gave to her father, when it gets into this liquid, it decomposes into elements. Now I needed to check something, sure you took out a huge book from the shelf, Xiao Bai at first she didn't even believe that it was a textbook. This was a comparative table, it was created by the whole family over thousands of years, thanks to it you can understand the composition of the solution. Soon the hostess managed to find the necessary information, now it was her friend's turn. This meant that if a particle of Huan Dan could be dissolved into elementary particles, then it would be possible to unravel the mystery of exploding people. To do this, the guy separated his index finger from himself, perhaps this research can bring him closer to his goal. But in fact there was a lot of it, for the experience you need something the size of a fingertip at most. Huan Dan reattached his finger, once he had already had to separate the smallest piece of power from himself. Therefore, he already knew that the easiest way was to search in his ear, at least that time it worked. Such a fragment of the divine pill should have been just right, the heroes decide to try it. To begin with, it had to be carefully divided in half using a knife, which is exactly what Shir Yui did. She spent several minutes doing this activity, at that moment everyone stood holding their breath. But unfortunately nothing came of this, the small knife simply became dull to the point of being a piece of ordinary metal. But the girl had spare ones, she is not ready to just give up after the first failure, so she decides to try again. This went on for several hours, Shir Yui tried her best, because the dream of her whole life was at stake. Xiao Bai drew attention to this, she somehow wanted to help, but she didn't know how, meanwhile, several damaged knives were already lying on the floor. They spent the whole day doing this activity, the mistress continued to try, and her comrades got a little tired and decided to sit down behind her. At some point, the girl with the ears was so tired that she wanted to sleep, while there was no support nearby except Huan Dan. After countless attempts, Shir Yui began to get angry, why did this glowing piece refuse to give in to her? As a result, she concludes that her knives are no good, she had to find something better, otherwise nothing would work. Xiao Bai managed to sleep while the hostess was trying to share a piece of power, when she woke up, she asked if they had finished their research. The owner of the laboratory decides to use the fragment completely, it was quite risky, but in this situation there is no other solution. Holding her breath, she threw a piece into the blue substance, it slowly began to sink, and small air bubbles floated to the top. The reaction happened much later than usual, the particle for some reason continued to glow, it was strange. This meant that the fragment consisted of a huge amount of spiritual energy, it was difficult to even say how huge. One day, Shir Yui stole an excellent pill for experiments, which was made 1000 years ago, 
the energy emanating from it was like moonlight, and this time they could observe something similar, finally, after a few minutes, something began to happen in the flask, but it turned out to be just foam that floated to the top, and the fragment of the pill began to glow even more intensely. Unfortunately, even this experience did not produce any results, it was quite creepy. Most likely, there is no person in this world who can eat a piece of a pill and still live. Xiao Bai was happy, this meant that her friend would never be eaten, which means they could spend more time together. But the guy, on the contrary, bowed his head, apparently he was upset, even from his stone forest it became clear that this was so. Huan Dan asked himself, what is the use of him then, if his only purpose is to bestow divine power on the worthy? His girlfriend was very angry at what she heard, why did he say that, he was still of great benefit. At a minimum, you can look for a magical weapon with which you can get an even smaller particle of power. Huan Dan asked where one could find such a thing, but sure you was an ordinary person, so she did not know where such a thing could be found. And the girl with the ears asked, perhaps there are some other ways to divide the shard of power. Perhaps if there were about a million incredibly capable masters in the world, then one of them might be able to eat a pill without exploding. Immediately after hearing the upset guy decided that he needed to go in search of such a person, Xiao Bai wants to go with him. But these two misunderstood the situation a little, in fact, there are not so many top masters in this world. There are an incredibly small number of such incomparable warriors, you'll be lucky if you get at least 10 of them. Suddenly, some kind of process began in the flask with the blue liquid, apparently, a fragment of the divine pill still reacted with the substance. Because of this, an incredibly bright glow began in the cave, the flask glowed with all the colors of the rainbow and shimmered. For a long time, the heroes could not understand what exactly they were seeing before their eyes, whether what was happening now was dangerous. Xiao Bai did not see any danger in this and she wanted to touch the glass vessel, she was just curious. But Shi Yu immediately moved her to the side, this should never have been done, they didn't know what could happen next. There was too much energy, this glass flask will not last long, at any moment this amount of energy could explode. After a few seconds, the glow disappeared, at first it might seem that the process had stopped and that would be the end of it. But suddenly something strange began, the flask began to shake violently, and the liquid turned into foam and began to hiss violently. At this moment, the Blue Sky Clan leader was training two elders, they were doing well, but they still had room for improvement. All their sincerity must be in their laps, they must react instantly when the enemy just appears. It was worth remembering well that the whole point is in bent knees, a timid appearance and flexible joints, it is also important to feel the heaviness of the earth. There should not be any unnecessary thoughts in your head, you only need to think about your knees, if you bow down incorrectly, you can lose your life. After this, the old man ordered his students to do one more approach, their technique should be honed to perfection. The women immediately followed the order, as it turned out, they were training in the art of worship in front of a strong opponent. The elders of the third and fifth sectors fell to the ground and said that as cultivators they expressed deep respect for their leader. The head of the clan was pleased, his wards managed to demonstrate all the best qualities of a person, they were still able to learn this technique. And the women thanked their mentor, before that, they didn't even know that being able to kneel correctly and express respect was so important. But now they know this technique perfectly, with this skill they will be able to survive in any situation, and all thanks to their respected leader. Even if someone steals someone else's husband, kills a member of his family, or burns something, and the person becomes very angry with you. At this moment you can kneel and he will understand that you have realized your mistake, even if you are destined to die ten times, you will receive a ray of hope. Suddenly the woman asked if his technique allowed them to escape one out of ten times, then what to do the other nine times. The old man replied that his technique was not the only one in the world, they had spent their entire lives studying other techniques, so they would allow them to escape. They, the elders were grateful to their master, as a gift they kissed him on both sides, the old man was even embarrassed. At this time, something strange was happening in the cave, a very bright golden light was coming from there, from afar it might seem like it was fire. As it turned out, a particle of the energy of the divine pill changed its properties due to a reaction with the purple liquid. It turned into a flying ball of very compressed spiritual power, a huge heat and bright light emanated from this thing. There was a feeling that the sphere could explode at any moment, 
and the destructive force could be simply colossal. Suddenly Shuri Yui remembers her precious textbook, she can under no circumstances lose it due to an explosion or fire. Xiao Bai tried to stop her friend, she didn't understand what she was doing, how can you risk your life for the sake of some book? But the owner of the laboratory could not allow this to happen, otherwise all her work would be in vain, she would protect this thing even at the cost of her own life. The girl with ears tried her best to hold her back, but she didn't have enough strength, so she asked Huan Dan to help her. And since this was her desire, the guy will gladly fulfill it, and of course he will make every effort for this. The hero took the flying ball with two fingers, at that moment the ball of energy began to emit some strange squeaking noise. Immediately after this, Huan Dan put the sphere in his mouth, apparently he wanted to swallow it and thereby return the energy back. At first everything looked normal, it seemed that the danger had passed and now no one could threaten them. Suddenly, the guy's cheeks became very swollen, as if he had taken a mouthful of air, and it became clear that he had not been able to swallow this thing. After a few seconds, he could no longer hold all the power in his mouth, so he had to open his mouth, and a beam of light immediately burst out of it. He was so strong that he easily cut through the thick layer of earth that separated the cave from the outside world. At the same time, the energy did not end, the flow of energy from Huan Dan Nye's mouth did not stop for several seconds. In the end, all this energy burst out and flew in an unknown direction, such an amount of power could not simply dissolve into thin air. All the villagers noticed this, but none of them could understand what this strange ray of golden light was. As a result of this incident, the ceiling of the cave was destroyed, and sunlight was breaking through a huge gap. The village that I flew out of the hero's mouth headed straight towards the head of the blue sky and his two elders. Suddenly one of the women feels danger behind her, she turns around to see what is happening there. After a few seconds, the second elder and the old man also noticed something strange, but at first glance, everything was fine. Well, as soon as they turned around, a huge beam of powerful golden energy immediately flew in front of their faces. He went even further and managed to cut one of the mountains in half, and left a huge hole on the second. At first it seemed that the old man was upset, because his clan was attacked for the third time, and he didn't even know who it was. But as it turned out, he was happy, because this time the fourth and second sectors were finally under attack, and he really did not like the elders of these territories. Now they had to go to a safe place, his temple at the top of the central peak was perfect for this. But who is this man anyway, and why is he mocking them so much? They didn't want to die, they were ready to kneel before him right away. Meanwhile, in the village, everyone had already forgotten about that strange incident, everyone continued to do their usual things. Well, suddenly the sounds of the general gathering bell began to be heard, it was expected that this signal would soon sound, because the territory of the Blue Sky Five clan was attacked. Sure Yu was more worried than usual, apparently she needed to do something before the bell rang. Xiao Bai tried to stop her and asked what happened to her, but the girl did not answer anything and ran forward. They needed to hurry after their friend, perhaps she would need their help, they couldn't waste a minute. But Huan Dan doesn't want to go anywhere, because he hasn't really been explored yet, and if he leaves, then he will move away from his only purpose. But sure Yui was the only person who could solve this mystery, without her, nothing would work. The hero wondered whether he should leave here now, whether this would finally help him accomplish what he was born for. After a few seconds, the guy decides that it would be better to go in search of his girlfriend. Xiao Bai was very pleased with the behavior of the savior, it seems that now she knew how she could improve her relationship with him. Sure Yui meanwhile, she was in a hurry to get to the surface with all her might, and once on top she ran to the center of the village. Upon arrival at the right place, she saw what she feared most at that moment. All five peaks were destroyed, and the villagers came out of their houses and knelt, each of them reciting a prayer. There were also tears in their eyes, they believed that this was punishment for their sins. Now the heavens were about to collapse and the earth was about to tremble, this meant that their great god was angry, it was all over. Sure Yui said these words, after which she fell to the ground, looking like she was completely broken. Her friends looked at it from the outside and could not understand what was happening to her, what kind of nonsense she had just told them. Xiao Bai had no idea what was going on, but she thought it was funny and laughed quietly. But her friend was very angry because of this, how can she have fun when such terrible events are happening around her? 
By the way, both of them were also in great danger, so they should act according to the rules here. Suddenly a voice from above addressed the villagers, at first it was not even clear where it was coming from, as if God himself had really descended from heaven to earth. Sure Yui thought the same thing, she was very scared, she was too young to die, everything happened too quickly. If you believe the ancient predictions, then after the destruction of the five peaks, God will punish all the villagers for failing to save them. The girl ordered Xiao Bai and Huan Dan to immediately kneel before their lord, the fox did not really like this. Suddenly, five blurry dark silhouettes began to appear from behind the clouds. People thought that this deity was coming down from heaven to punish them. In fact, it was one of the clan elders with his assistants, they were asking their master what the instructions would be. The man replied, the first thing you need is good special effects and suitable music. Do these fools really need to explain everything, speaking in front of these people, they need to look as cool as possible. One of the girls noticed that they were going down too quickly, they might not have enough time to prepare all these magical things. But that was not all, she became a little embarrassed and asked her mentor to look at how he was dressed. As it turned out, for some reason the man was wearing clothes that belonged to his mistress. The elder immediately shouted to his assistants to immediately cast some kind of spell and cover him. The subordinates obeyed and used a dazzling glow technique, this was supposed to hide their elder. Now they needed to change back to their clothes as quickly as possible, otherwise they would not be able to create the right impression. In fact, this technique was quite poor in camouflage, so the people from the village saw everything that was happening in the sky. Xiao Bai smiled, she was amused by the fact that the people above began to change clothes, and for some reason they also began to glow, thanks to this everything was visible even better. Sure you heard this and became very angry, she immediately gestured that her friends should be quieter. After all, the deities love people and correct manners, so in their presence you should be silent and just wait. But the girl with the ears didn't understand what was so terrible about them, she was ready to bet that if any of them ate her savior, she would explode. At this moment, Shi Yui began to sweat on her face, apparently she became very scared, she ordered her friend not to say such things. Meanwhile, the woman in a red dress and her assistant monk continued to travel, they even went somewhere into the desert. Meanwhile, in the village, a real performance began the elder flew in the sky and told a story about divine spirits that had existed for many generations. They taught the villagers love, generosity and mutual assistance, they even gave some a chance to enter the heavenly kingdom. And the girl continued to prove to her friends that they should respect their god, because otherwise they would be punished. But the two didn't seem to share her point of view, so sure you decided to just ignore them and let them do what they wanted. Suddenly Xiao Bai approached her friend and asked for forgiveness, because she loves her very much and values her, there was no need to quarrel. Sure Yui could not be angry with her after this, in the end they found a common language and made peace. The crowd at this time continued to look at the sky with their mouths open, the performance worked perfectly for them. Finally, the elder managed to bring himself back to normal, and now he could say his part of the text. Only when it was all over did he realize that these idiots were shining directly at him, instead of blinding the people below. But in principle this did not matter much, everything was going according to plan, and soon he and his charges descended to the ground. The girl standing next to the elder said that the divine leader of the second peak had descended on an important task. It consisted of um, uh, damn, it looks like she forgot to learn this stupid text again, did this really happen to her again? The elder couldn't believe it, was she really that stupid, it was a shame he took her with him this time. In the end, the girl simply asked her elder why they even went down to these people, what their goal was. Simply incredible stupidity, the elder had no choice but to start a conversation with the villagers himself. The man, with a proud and pathetic look, raised his hand and greeted everyone present, after which he wished them well and good fortune in a loud voice. This made Xiao Bai laugh, did the deity itself come down to people just to wish them a good day? Everyone around heard this, the girl with the ears tried to justify herself that she simply did not expect such a greeting and this amused her a little. The accompanying elder was indignant, how dare they do this, who was so confident in himself that he expressed disrespect. Sure Yui immediately covered her friend's mouth with her hand and ordered her not to say anything more about the great lord. But the elder was not angry, because anyone who has received the blessing of the five peaks can laugh whenever their heart desires. 
The crowd was imbued with these words to the depths of their souls, everyone around them began to cry, how good it is that they have such magnanimous deities. The real reason for the elder's appearance was that he had finally managed to break through to a completely new level of cultivation. Oddly enough, he managed to advance in strength right during the cultivation process with one of his assistants. The man told her about how in the future she would be able to reach the heights of cultivation, then she would be allowed to study various techniques. But right at the most important moment, a strong explosion occurred, due to which the peak on which their temple was located was completely destroyed. The girl who was meditating at that moment thought that she seemed to be in flight, was this really the effect of that pill? But they were actually flying for real, their sacred cultivation site falling to the ground right at this moment. As a result, the pair cultivation partners found themselves at the very bottom, someone tried hard to humiliate the head of this sector. But the man could not talk about such a shameful incident, so he came up with a story that, right while having fun, he accidentally destroyed the second peak thanks to his incredible power. At that moment, the girls realized that the ruler was telling a lie, but how could this be, is a deity really capable of lying? Xiao Bai forgot about her friend's advice and immediately wanted to tell everyone that this was a blatant lie, because it was definitely not he who destroyed the peak. But sure Yui again covered her mouth with her hand and once again asked her to think better before turning to the elder. And at that moment the man announced that he wanted all the villagers to experience the same happiness as him, so he wanted to give each of them a treasure. The lord opened a small portal, from which a wide variety of things began to fly out, from food to books. Each person could take one thing he wanted, the crowd was happy, everyone around them idolized their elder. Some even cried, how generous he was, now they will have at least some variety besides food. But the man was not finished yet, it seemed to him that the gifts were not enough to show them his joy. It was decided to hold the ascension ceremony in the village today, all that remained was to figure out who was next in line. Sure Yui did not believe it, tears appeared in her eyes, she was very happy, because the next in line to ascend was her father. Moreover, the whole process could begin right now. The girl bowed to her lord and thanked him with all her heart, she asked him to accept this on behalf of her father. The elder called to bring the man quickly, he now had the opportunity to go to the divine mountain to enjoy it. Those around continued to bless their god, may grace be with everyone. Meanwhile, the assistants had already taken the sick man to a place from where he could ascend the mountain. The man looked even worse than the first time, it was difficult to say whether he was still alive or had already given his soul to God. His daughter thanked her lord once again, now her father, like his ancestors, will be ascended to the divine mountain. And she, in turn, will do everything in her power to follow in the footsteps of her grandparents. After that, the man said that he had something else, he wanted to give the villagers a chance to earn even more merit. The elder was about to organize a pill-making competition, at that moment he reached into his pocket. In his pocket was the recipe for an ancient pill, he needed someone from the crowd to achieve maximum success in preparing the pill. If at least someone can create an excellent saw, they will earn a lot of merit, this will allow them to immediately go to the mountain and turn into a divine being. In addition, there will be as many as five winners, all of whom will receive a unique opportunity to ascend without waiting in line. After this, the elder quickly said goodbye to everyone and said that he had to go, because he still had many important things to do. Soon they went back up, and the villagers thanked them for a long time and shouted goodbye. Now you could just close your eyes to everything, it was a long lost recipe that a man found several hundred years ago. It was necessary to allow the villagers to create special pills, they could serve as a good gift for their future guest. But if everything doesn't go according to plan, then they need to prepare an option to escape and find a new place where they can recreate another sect. His assistant noticed that the competition was organized hastily and the number of applicants was too large, because of this the villagers could harm each other. But when the job was already done, there was no point in worrying, even if everyone died, then you could find another settlement and brainwash them. As it turned out, this is not the first time that the elders have done this, during their lives they have deceived a bunch of people and used them for their own needs. Meanwhile, the people in the village happily ran to heat the stoves and mix the ingredients, they need to create special pills. Sure Yui was going to do exactly the same thing, she was happy because finally her father's suffering was over and he found peace. The girl said goodbye to her friends for a while and said that she should start working on the pill as quickly as possible. 
As a result, Huan Dan and Xiao Bai were left alone. The girl with the ears asked her savior what they were going to do now, maybe he had some suggestions. The hero really had one idea, he turned around and pointed his finger at five high peaks, the guy wanted to go exactly there. He needed to seek out the best masters or the greatest magic weapons to achieve his goal, and these elders seemed quite capable. His girlfriend reported that something seemed very strange to her. Thanks to her unique sense of smell, she was able to smell that Shi Yui's father was unfortunately already dead when he was brought to the deity. Huan Dan didn't get the idea, what difference does it make whether this man was dead or alive? But in fact, why take him with you if he had already died? Besides, everyone around for some reason looked happy. When Xiao Bai's mother was eaten by an evil tiger, she was very upset, the girl asked her savior if this whole situation seemed strange to him. But her friend didn't even understand what it meant to be upset, he asked about it, but Xiao Bai didn't even know what to say. Honestly, this feeling when it hurts right in the chest, how can I explain it, is actually a very strange feeling. The guy listened to this and decided to test it for himself, he pointed his finger at his chest and asked if the place hurts when you are upset. Huan Dan wanted to know what it meant to be upset, so he punched himself with all his might. When he did this, he managed to take out a sphere of golden energy from his chest, the sensations were indeed different from those before. At the same time, a hole was left in his body, Xiao Bai asked to return everything back as quickly as possible. It was really unpleasant, but what to do with this information, he didn't know where to move next. His friend suggests going and asking his sister Shi Yui, she clearly knows more than them. The girl was sitting next to a huge vat at that time and was trying to repeat the ancient recipe. Shi Yui was very passionate about the process, her whole face was stained with coals, but she didn't care at all. Suddenly, this fascinating potion-making process was interrupted by friends, she was surprised when she saw them, why were they behaving so strangely? For some reason, Xiao Bai sat on the guy's neck. They explained this by saying that it was more convenient for them to move around together. But Shi Yui said to stop it immediately, when they behave like this they look very indecent. But that was not the point, the girl with the ears quickly jumped off the guy and said that in fact they had one question. Xiao Bai told her friend that in fact, her father was already dead when those people took him. So why does she look so happy, it's very strange. Sure you continued to behave very strangely and said that if you look at the standards of martial arts, the man was dying. Her father created pills all his life, but did not achieve much success in this, only thanks to one incident he was able to gain the respect and honor of the residents. It was only because of this that he became the next candidate for the exaltation ceremony, an event that occurs once every 15 years. The deities on the mountain would teach the man immortal techniques, thus he himself would become one of the ascended ones, it all sounded very strange. How could a person study some kind of technique if he had already died, death is the end for all living things. Sure Yui insisted that mortals are destined to die, but deities know a lot about life and death, so they know better whether her father was dead or not. The deities have been protecting their village for a thousand years, teaching kindness, compassion, how to help other people, this is exactly the ideology they adhere to. In the past, her father tested pills for deities, so he suffered physically and mentally, this was the test they were given, thanks to which the man was chosen. Now she also needs to work as hard as she can, the honor of previous generations cannot be disgraced. 